the X Defiant battle has continued. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. Okay, well, I just threw myself into the chaos there. I consider becoming a channel member. There's the Patreon option, the Discord if you want stream alerts, and an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. So here we go. Got another test weekend. Will this game ever release? I'm not too sure. Should I have warmed up beforehand? Absolutely. Do I need custom classes? Yes. I feel like I should have picked the assault rifle too. Picked like the MP5 class because I thought things were going to be a little tighter, but... Anyways, I do have the 120 FPS mode on, but I mean obviously you can't see that. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to change to the assault rifle loadout because holy I forgot how fast you die in this. I'm like, if you don't have distance, you are going to get slaughtered, especially since it's Escort, where it's like larger scale map designs. Yeah. And there's no auto aim. Holy crap, we are going to get smoked. <laughs> Hi there, yeah. The hit markers make it feel like the division? Well, it's not, it's not supposed to be the division, it's supposed to be some kind of weird. Uh, coagulated massive like well it was originally Tom Clancy universes now it's just the Ubisoft universes thrown together holy freaking hell you die fast of this I haven't even been able to like partially kill somebody holy crap this is crazy like I'm, I'm on the 120 Hertz and I feel like I can't even respond to how fast I am dying Wait, crap, I feel like I'm playing a different game from the other people. It's the aggressive skill-based magic <laughs> skin. We're not on COD yet. I take it the other team is just, like, destroying us. There we go, I got a grenade kill. See, grenades, they're my faithful. They, they're how I get kills in video games. You know, the guns may let me down, but grenades never do. There we go, that's a kill. Yeah, you, you move really freaking quick in this game. There's another kill. That's what I'm talking about. That's another kill. That's a kill streak. I think we call that ending people's lives. Oh, there we go. As long as they're not looking at me, I can kill them. See, as soon as they see me, I die. Yeah. See, I got some kills. See, now if I would have started the stream with that kind of set of kills. People, when they're watching the stream afterwards, would be like, This guy's amazing! <laughs> uh, this also feels really different from the last time we played this, I gotta say. Like, it feels even, like, quicker and, and deadlier, which is not great when there's, like, no aim assist at all. Like it is uh, a bit of a thing to get used to, I will say that is for sure. Yeah. Is it PC only? No, it's it's on all the platforms. Uh, this is I'm playing this on the Xbox. It's on Xbox, PlayStation, PC. You know, on all the serious consoles. That's where you can find it. Man, the vibration is hardcore on this game. Holy. So yeah, it is available everywhere. And it's free, you can just freely download it and give it a try and see how it is. But uh, yeah, this, this was supposed to release last summer, so like, I don't know, is it ever coming? I don't know. Feels like hot. Is there a release date? There, There is not a release date yet. Uh, anyone saying otherwise does, does not know what they're talking about. No, there's there's no actual release date for this game. And it's very likely it'll get delayed further along too. But it's, yeah, there, there's no confirmed release date yet. Like I said, it was supposed to be last summer. And then it was supposed to be the spring. And, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. Like, it seems like it's ready, so I don't really know the delay, but, you know, not much you can do, right? Down. Keep it going, 
I mean, if they keep waiting too long, they're going to be delayed out of the year because they're going to get impacted by Call of Duty, right? See, like, you can't release this game alongside COD or you're just going to... It'll just be dead. And they keep missing all their release windows and it's just like... You know, you got to put it out the door someday, you know, have some faith in the product and see how it goes, but... That's a good grenade. This is very difficult, this shooter. I guess crowd shooting is a big part of this, too. That's what a few YouTubers... Just because a few people say so doesn't mean... Oh my god, I got the sponsored thing up still. One sec, guys. I gotta... I gotta turn off my stuff from yesterday. I got at least timers on. Enable, disable, enable, enable, enable. There we go. Sorry, I just got a... Yeah, because I had a sponsored stream yesterday, which was Star Trek, by the way. If you missed it, you should go check it out and stuff. And, you know, obviously that uh, sponsored content helps me pay to live. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, these freebie streams, they, they don't pay much at all. I know that sounds wild, but yeah. Anyways. Double kill. Nice. Yeah, but there's no official release date or anything. It's free weekend test, yeah. The COD Battle Pass isn't gonna finish itself. Seriously. We're, we're doing COD tomorrow's on the schedule. Let's get some of that sweet double Battle Pass XP. And Sunday? Sunday is fun day, but I don't, honestly, I have... I have no idea what we're doing on Sunday. So did they get rid of her cool ability where she can go invis or something? I feel like that was a big part of what made this character interesting. Was the invis stuff. I guess maybe they rebalanced things? I don't know. They don't have to get it very far. I'm surprised these guys haven't won yet. But yeah, it looks like that abusing the crouch shooting is becoming a, a big thing on this one. I don't remember that really being present last time. It's like we're playing Halo. Does it have keyboard support? Oh, I have... I have no idea. I did a review for this uh, when it like, when it was available in the summer, so that, that might tell you. I, I guess I could do an updated review of the game, I suppose, for the the beta test here, if, if people want, but yeah, I didn't really look into the keyboard support in that. Oh no, I just got her ability. I'm gonna send the sad emote. Oh, I got killed and I'm sad about it. Oh, okay, so her ability still is present. Okay, it just doesn't show up on the screen the whole time. That probably makes sense. Triple kill! I feel like this is so overpowered to have an ability like that. Oh, it doesn't last very long now. No, yeah, maybe that's more balanced. Oh, okay, I, like, jumped right into my grenade and he didn't die. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it just takes a second to get used to. Because, man, I was getting smacked right off the bat. I was, like, dying so much. And now I'm looking good, and people watching stream afterwards are going to be like, this guy just sucks, but it's going to be like, no, I'm okay. That's why you got to practice when you stream, guys. We beat them. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> It's hard for you to play this while COD's doing XP. Yeah, it's, it's almost like they're trying to make sure that you don't, uh, you know, leave their game to play this game or any other game. Hmm, it's amazing how they set up those double XP weekends, isn't it? Coast Recon Battle Royale? You know, I would have tried that, and it probably would have been horrible, but I would have tried it. But yeah, it probably would have been bad. My wall hack ability? It's me, I'm a cheater, I see through walls. Yeah, I'm the most uh, expert COD hacker on uh, on console. It's just, I just I see through things. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're looking that way. Is that actually like an exit? All about the wall hacks. Okay, I'm deciding if I need to like adjust the webcam because it's kind of like, you know what? This it's okay. It's not in my line of sight. Yeah. 
Hmm. Not a cod killer. Uh, I, I give this game like a year or two until after it launches. I just I don't see it. It's like it's such a hey like it's it's well polished. It's kind of okay and fun to play, but it's like it's just like a generic coagulation of like Ubisoft franchises, and there's just nothing about this that really screams like oh this is the next big shooter. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. They could, uh, you know, blow our minds here. I, I really don't know. Maybe a lot of other people are like way more intense about this game than I am. But like, to me, I'm just kind of like, it's an aggressively okay shooter, and like, I don't know. Just like they were working on, like, what a dozen free-to-play live service games at Ubisoft, and it's like this is what made it out of the, you know, the wagon. And I'm just kind of like. It's like, I can't imagine what else they were working on that was worse than this. I mean, the Ghost Recon Battle Royale was like a dumb idea, but... You know, it actually might have worked as like a really tactical, you know, thing. But like, honestly, Ghost Recon needs to be like, redeemed, not turned into like, a Battle Royale. I am glad that they threw the Tom Clancy branding off of this game, though, because it's not at all a Tom Clancy game. <laughs> They may have the figurine in the bottom right corner when you're, like, standing up, but it's, yeah, it's not a Tom Clancy game. A COD? There's lots of COD competitors, just none of them are good enough to really take over that space, you know what I mean? Yeah. Embrace Tarkov. You know, I, like, I, I think I have access to Tarkov, you know, there, Puang. I, I don't... I don't know if I still do, like, a long time ago I was told, oh, Tarkov's really, really cool, and I think this was, like, literally five years ago, at least? And they're like, here, have a code, because I have the developer's email or whatever. They, they emailed me about updates back then. This was a long time ago. I was like, can I get a code? And they're like, here you go. But I think I had, like, a beta code or something. So I don't think it's actually, like, a code of ownership on anything. I'd have to go, like, look it up in my email, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if I actually have access to that game or not. On point. Yeah. Have I ever played any of the Diablo? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I have reviews for, like, all of the Diablo games on Xbox. Uh, streamed all of Diablo 2 and 4, and... Yeah, I, I, I quite like Diablo. I've, I, I'd say I'm even a bit of a fan. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you're new to the channel, you might not know, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I quite like Diablo. It's a, it's a very enjoyable gaming experience for me. I was kind of hoping that I'd get to flank around. I also forgot that this game, very headshot-focused. Gotta go for the domes. You will raid me, yeah, okay. You don't get the hype around this game. Uh, people, they, well, the people, you know, they call it a COD killer, they like the fast-paced action. I think it hits really well with some of the streaming people online, like the streamers. They seem to have good word of mouth, and word of mouth from streamers carries over to people in day-to-day, -day, and uh, as much as people pretend that it doesn't, it does. I think that's where the good word of mouth is on this one, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty generic shooter to me. I mean, I like how it looks and plays, but... <laughs> you know, like, like, again, it's it's competent, it works well, it's really aggressive and kind of a little hard to get into because, you know, it's a little different for a console shooter, but, yeah, I don't know. Being hunted together, that's, that's what it's all about. A good battlefield. Well, you're getting a new battlefield next year. Is it gonna be a good battlefield? Uh, hard to say, but it might be. <laughs> I would say the next Battlefield is going to be, like, they're going to play it real safe. Probably do another modern one, and there's it's just going to be, like, the safest Battlefield they've ever released. God, that person's, like, reflexes or uh, response time was insane. It's almost like they were, like, auto-aiming the fact, like, how fast she turned around to react to me. Because you got to remember, like, again, you guys, you can't see it, but I'm playing at 120 hertz. So, like... You know, like, I have the high frame rate, I have the fast response going on with the TV and all that. And it's like, freaking hell to some of these people respond quickly. Yeah. 
It's kind of nice, though, because, you know, we didn't have the new capture card last time. Do I have the box for that still around here? I got the new Elgato card, which I have to do a review of. That is... that is coming. It's gonna be very positive, but, yeah, the review of the capture card is... is a coming. I've just been really busy. It's like a dead April, but I am so busy. I literally don't even understand it. This is probably like one of the, the actually, you know what, I think April's the deadest month we've had this year for games. And yet I'm still insanely busy. This is mind blowing. Hmm. And uh, I'm working on Stellar Blade as well to review right now. So that's, you know, that's, that's in the cards for I think, next week or whatever, obviously. we get this escort thing escorted? Does this game have like a point out system? Like being like, hey, there's a guy there. I think it's there. Oh damn it. Sorry, this, this webcam thing is off today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me that's off. Mm, okay. X defiant. See, well, it was Tom Clancy's X Defiant, but like, I don't. Like, X Defiant sounds like such a generic name, but I also don't know what you would replace that with. Like, what else would you call this? Seriously, like, what, like, what else would you call this? I also think, brand awareness wise, you have to stick with X Defiant because people just know this game as that at this point. Yeah. Hmm. Tarkov beta? Is it still in beta? I thought Tarkov had officially, like, release released. Remember to hydrate. Yeah, hydration is always very important. Hmm. So we have to beat 96%? That's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass to get. Yeah, I was getting some good kills here, but uh, I think we're having a hard time actually pushing on the offense. Recommend me for a ribbon? I always wanted a ribbon. They give X Defiant ribbons? Triple kill. That's what this game is missing a high octane voice announcer. Believe in Admiral Burger? Wow, I can't believe that grenade kind of tucked in there and freaking smacked me. Just over here admiring your handiwork. Yeah, I think the game could do without that random woman that's like, oh, look at you getting kills. It's like, yeah, I can see that I'm getting kills. I don't need, like, a, an emotional support pat on the back. Give me some actual information or just shut up. <laughs> Closing on their progress point. That's our mission objective, Agent. That's our mission objective agent. Like, she just... Ugh. I don't know how to describe it, but a good announcer is so important for these shooter games. Like, when you think of, like, the older CODs, where they had those, like, awesome announcers, it's like, they kind of carried those ones. COD Golf War? Not yet. That's at the end of the year. What did I think about Justice Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? Well, I do have this nice review on the channel that you should check out if you want my thoughts on that game. Overall, I didn't love it, but, uh, yeah, again, I put together a review, so it's worth watching that. That's, that's why it's there. We won! Look how happy Robot is! He's dancing! He's dancing! It's almost like you've done this before. You're transmitting great intel. This is how wars are won. Huh. We're transmitting great intel? That's how wars are won? What does that even mean? Oh, I totally lost track. You guys are supposed to sit there and like the stream. Subscribing's great, donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Ooh, four multi kills. Channel member gifted, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and aggressively okay times. There's also an Amazon Starfleet link here if you're into that. And gamerheadquarters.com. I write stuff sometimes on my site. Hmm.
It's been in beta since 2016. That's what I was saying. Was like I, I thought they released Tarkov fully. It's a bit of a shocker. Well, I hope you do check it out and enjoy the review. Yeah, Black Ops name? I would you even consider this Black Ops? It doesn't really feel like a Black Ops game. Besides, they couldn't call it Black Ops. Cod ones that. Ah, uh, we need a custom loadout. The ACR is that good in this game? The M4 is pretty good. I guess it's creating the match, so I'm not allowed to customize. Okay, there we go. Reflex, hollow, scope, ACOG. What do you think? Just the reflex or hmm? Quick mag. Plus five magazine. I'm gonna go with the quick mag. Rear grip. Quick draw. Why not just pick stuff that automatically makes your gun better? Like these ones, they just add like options. <laughs> There's like no downside to some of this stuff. Dumbo. Tom Clancy's the division Dumbo. That's the squid. That's the burgers. Wasn't there supposed to be like a division two big update? Did that ever come out? Also, what happened to Heartland? You guys remember the Division Heartland? Where did that go? That was supposed to come out like two years ago, a year and a half ago. Where is that game? It's supposed to be like a uh, extraction looter shooter, which kind of actually makes sense for the Division. I don't know. And then the Division Three, I think, is coming out next year. Is it next year for the Division Three? Yeah. I don't know if people buy the game's title. Like, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't think people buy Call of Duty because it's called Black Ops or because it's called Modern Warfare. I think people buy Call of Duty because it's called Call of Duty. And people could be like, oh, well, some of the CODs don't sell as good as others. And it's like, so Vanguard, that Call of Duty that you guys all hated, 30 million sales. <laughs> The, the worst performing COD outperforms literally almost every other game in the industry. <gasps> it's the polar bears! I love the polar bears, they just want a good meal. These guys look like they're having such a great time. Look at them, they're just having dinner together. I wish I could go and have dinner with someone and both of us could wear like top hats like that. Let's see what they got here, meals. Mm. Jeez, okay, well that's the unfriendly awakening I wasn't expecting opening that door. Well, hello, polar bear. I need to meet someone in life where I'm like, you know what we should do? We should go out and have a burger, but we should wear a top hat, and that person's like, yeah, let's do it. I need a pal like that, or a loved one like that. We're doing top hat dinner. Be like, where do you get top hats from? I'd be like, I don't know. National defense duty now? Okay, Pong, someone's gotta do it. Hmm. No, but seriously, there's supposed to be like a big update to the Division 2, and it's like, I believe this was supposed to come out a while ago, like an expansion or something? And I was kind of looking forward to it. Also, what's the point of doing the Division 3 if they're doing an expansion to the Division 2? Or is the expansion to get people excited for the Division 3? Something to think about, I guess. Where lock and capture zone is moving. Sending new locations are off shot now. Your tactics are working, Damn. Ethan. Trust them. Huh. Might have to recommend you for a ribbon at this rate. Recommend me for a ribbon. Like, what do I get when I get this ribbon? No, they made this area look less crappy. I remember there being a lot more clutter on this map last time we played it. Like, there was just garbage everywhere. But it seems like they've actually cleaned a lot of that up. Hmm. We're on the zone. Zone taken. So this is like hard point? Okay. The question is, how does X Defiant help me capture and control my battle pass and COD? That's what I wanna know. 
Damn it, that guy was like two shots. How is this so far? The exact same as it was last time. With a little bit of an edge of me having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. Like, honestly, I can't even tell really what the differences are, and I'm shocked that this hasn't actually released yet. Oh, he was a one shot! Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> a pony with a ribbon? In my dreams. A unicorn? Oh, that'd be nice. Well, I hope you enjoy your new TV. Just over here admiring your handiwork. We're locking down the zone. Well, I think the idea was, as I was saying, like, it's not specifically Modern Warfare or Black Ops that sells CODs. I mean, those ones do sell better, but it's just like, people will just buy anything with Call of Duty on it because it's the shooter you buy every year. They've cornered the market. Battlefield used to have a chance of competing, and they just, they don't anymore. They, they lost. It would, it would take a real miracle to have a new shooter come out of anywhere to actually, like, dethrone COD. I don't actually think it's even possible anymore. The zone's in danger. I will say, though, that I think Fortnite cuts into COD's market pretty deeply, but, like, still, it, it still doesn't, um... COD has the shooter genre just wrapped up. It is the king. Allies on the zone. Let's cap the zone, yo. I notice I get like XP and boosts and stuff. Like, is this actually tracking our like leveling system now? Is there a leveling system in this? I need a medic. My health is so low. I'm dying. Nothing stopping you. A one life mode? You are talking like one in the chamber or something like that? There was a uh, there was a kill confirmed mode, but I turned it off because I thought it sounded lame. How did I walk by that person? They didn't notice I was there. That's ridiculous. Interesting to take a setting from the division and put it into this. I guess that's what all the maps are. We're on the zone. Your tactics are working, agent. Trust them. I have my ultimate, but I don't know where the enemies are. Ah, I only got a few of them. They were too spaced out. I think I lucked out on that other map when they were all together. I was just popping them like candy. We're locking down the zone. Damn it. Hmm. You can hate it, cod all you want, but it is the king of shooters, the undisputed king. Like I said, when a COD that everybody hates like Vanguard sells 30 million copies, Heads up. I'm you know, our sonar tech. other games would dream of selling like a third of that. It's, it's just a monster. It's a franchise that can't be stopped. Then again, I can even imagine gaming without Call of Duty. It just wouldn't be the same. Oh my god, that line where she's like, I might have to recommend you for a ribbon is really getting on my nerves, and we've only been streaming for like half an hour. I hate that. Is there a way to turn that off? Holy. Speaking of things to turn off, did you guys see that god awful new what's happening on Xbox freaking UI adjustment? Man, Xbox is just like, the people that do the UI are just looking for things to add lazily because, man, is it god-awful. It's this feature right here, and it, like, it takes up 66% of your screen. It is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen added to Xbox. 
And I and I got like actually you know what it's the dumbest UI change I've ever seen and I got the freaking useless Instagram meta uh, AI thing on my Instagram search bar the other day and man that is terrible you guys use Instagram at all holy that search bar is atrocious with the freaking AI thing built into it nobody wants that nobody asks for that I get it's Facebook trying to train its AI bot to like you know end humanity and everything but like holy Instagram. Holy Facebook, nobody wants to talk to a dumb chat bot on Instagram. I just want to search for things. They nerfed movement. I've noticed some more people doing crowd shooting. Does England have a Costco? I don't know, I'm not from England. How would I know if England has a Costco? Yeah, but seriously, if you're buying electronics and stuff, Costco is really good for TVs and whatnot. It's good for everything, actually. Costco, there's not much that I haven't found a good value at, at the Costco. Except for maybe trips, I guess? I heard the trip stuff is a little iffy, but, uh... Yeah, other than that, everything's pretty great at the Costco. I think she's cold wearing like a skirt and stuff in this, or is that a skirt? Or just shorts? <laughs> Revealed by sonar goggles. Anyways, we got some cool videos tomorrow. I know that doesn't help you guys now, but. She has some pretty cool stuff the skirt ritual and. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a cyberpunky, like. Uh, roguelike sort of thing. It's it's interesting. I think it's called like Arc Runner, and then you can like play with up to three people. It's kinda neat. Skirt Ritual I wanted to do a stream of, and I, I pitched for like the thing because they had a posting about a sponsor stream and the skirt people never got back to me. I'm like, oh. We I mean, won't be streaming that one, you know. Unless they change their minds, which they're running out of time to do, but anyways. Huh. <sighs> You delayed this game too much. I agree. I do agree. I think they missed their window. I think this game will have a little bit of a hot start and then it'll just kind of vanish over time. But like I said, I could be wrong, but you know. We'll have to wait and see, right? We have to wait and see what happens. There we go. The sequel spin-off. Oh, I, I know, I, I played Scare Ritual. It's it's actually, it's a little different than, than the main game. Unless the main game is a Call of Duty Zombies clone, it's very different. And honestly, why didn't I never play Married of Scare? That's so weird that I kind of ignored that one. But yeah, it's basically like Call of Duty Zombies. It's actually pretty good. I, I quite enjoyed playing it today. Yeah. This game looks nice. It does. Cod Killer arrived. Yeah, right. Look at me, best multi-kills back to back. Two matches in a row. Did they uh, nerf that one? Remember there was that one woman or one guy that had like a juggernaut pill that was like impossible to kill? Did they nerf that character? It was like from Far Cry or something like that. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We've got some work to do now, you know. Yeah, uh, I guess while it searches, I can show you some of the games I've been cracking on. I'm almost finished Deceit 2, as I've almost got all the achievements. Yeah, Deceit 2, I've almost, like, I got, I've, I've just about finished the last two achievements. Uh, Dying Light 2? Like, I got a code from the developer, which is interesting. I'll, I'll talk about that more in a sec, but Arc Runner is a video tomorrow, and Scare Ritual. Pummel Party, I'm debating, it's kind of funny looking. I'm gonna work on Smite. I'm working on Zayu, Stellar Blade on PlayStation, Bunhouse, Harold Halibut for Sunday, which is so cool. It's a claymation game. It's on Game Pass. Really, really neat. And then these games are, like, considered for videos. That stuff's coming up. But yeah, for Dying Light 2, it's, it's kind of funny. So for Dying Light 2, I didn't get a code at launch for whatever reason, which was a piss-off. Hot dog. And then one of my PR people was like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll get you a code and stuff. And then like the code never came. 
And I was like, what happened? He's like, oh, the devs never sent a code, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. And then, like, yesterday, Techland emailed me about a new update for the game. And I was just like, hey, can I get a code? And they're like, okay. And, yeah, now I have it. Yeah, the Ultimate Edition for Dying Light 2. I feel like if I would've just emailed Techland directly in the first place, I could've had a code, like, two years ago, but all right. Ah, the Dead Island guys. The time to kill is very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Dead Island. Uh, well, Dead Island was a little different, because I'm in the... How did I get Dead Island? Was Dead Island a code from, like, a creator group? Or was Dead Island an email code? I honestly don't remember how I got Dead Island, too. But usually, as somebody that does, like, you know, press and video reviews and stuff, I usually always get the Ultimate Edition. I kind of feel like companies, uh, they cheap out when they send you, like, a base version of the game, and you go, like, really? Especially with how, like, live service-y games are these days, where you're gonna be, like, covering DLC and, like, you know, playing games, of, like, later after they're released. It's, it's so weird to kind of, like, cheap out and give you, like, a standard edition. It's like, really? It's like, it doesn't cost them anyway. <laughs> Seriously, it, it doesn't at all. But yeah, I, I couldn't believe it, because, like, we were supposed to check out Dying Light 2 so long ago. I could have got so many views off of that over the years. So we'll probably do a stream of that in the near future. In the not-too-distant future. Hot dog. But, uh... Yeah, so that's kind of what's going on with that. Finally got Dying Light 2. I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. We might go back to Dead Island to do the DLC as a stream. I kind of don't want to, but we'll, we'll see how it fits into this next week. Because as I said, there's not... It's like a pretty quiet April, so there's not like a lot of new stuff to do. So we'll see how it fits into the schedule. Although I'm not sure what is going to be busy this week. Like, I know we have Stellar Blade we're going to be streaming this week and some other stuff, so we'll see what happens. I was actually a little annoyed I was supposed to have, like, three sponsor streams last week, and I only ended up with the one, I was just like, huh. A little, a little odd. Uh, da, 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 da. Which fraction Which fraction is my favorite? Like, you talk about fraction, like 1 over 2, 2 over 4, or are you talking about faction? Uh, what, what are the factions? Like, I play as the Splinter Cell Lady because she's got a really overpowered ultimate ability. But, like, I'd, I'd have to look at what factions are actually in the game to pick a favorite, I suppose. We'll just say for now it's, it's Splinter Cell, but I'll, I'll have to look at the other ones. Because I don't know if they've added some. They've got, like, what, Watch Dogs, Far Cry... Do they have, like, Rainbow Six in this? Yeah. Am I on 120 FPS? You bet your ass I am. Yeah, I know Dead Island just got a DLC update. Is Xbox Game Pass on PlayStation? Nope. Not not yet. Is it a beer or whiskey night? It's a rum night. I don't really drink whiskey very often. And if I do, it's usually off stream, like beforehand, as like a shots thing. I haven't refilled my whiskey in several months. Uh, beer, I did buy Stella. Yeah, today was sort of a fun day. I, I had the complete quietness of the house. I, I woke up. Ranked some music, got myself ready for the day, had a nice Stella and Pizza Pop, and then I've been drinking a margarita steadily while working on stuff. It was, it was wonderful. Great day. Yeah, I think Dying Light, isn't it two years old now? Gotta be at least two years. All the factions have annoying announcers. Yeah, this lady that keeps wanting to give me a ribbon every, like, five minutes is driving me bonkers. We'll have to give you a ribbon for that. It's like, please shut up. I don't remember the announcers being annoying the last time we streamed this, but... But you know what I did find annoying, guys? That we didn't get enough likes on the stream. So be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and okay times. 
There's also an Amazon store affiliate link. If you're into that kind of thing, use the link in the video description. How come she has like a yellow triple bar? How the hell do you get that? Is that her ultimate? I wonder how they came up with the name X Defiant. Cause like I know it's the name of this game and it's kind of stuck, but like, you know that had to have been like a development name, right? Cause it's like, it's a bad name for, for a video game. <laughs> Because, like, it's genuinely, like, if they were doing, like, any sort of market research and stuff with that, you, you gotta wonder how they, they got the wrong market research groups to, to have a name like that kind of becoming a thing. I love how if we make fun of this game and it somehow becomes, like, some kind of massive hit for, like, ten years, I'd just be, like, completely just shocked. I'd be like, wow. I've had that happen where you think something's just not gonna be popular, and it's just, like, a huge hit. There's something you think is going to be a huge hit, and it's not at all popular. Hmm. But yeah, I only I only give this game a couple years. I don't, I don't think it's going to make it. Game Pass on PlayStation? I don't think they can put Game Pass on PlayStation. I'm sure they'd like to, but I, I don't think Sony would allow a competing subscription like that. So I, I can't... I can't see Xbox being allowed to unless it's just first party stuff, like a Game Pass for PlayStation kind of thing after they move more of the exclusives over. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I can't see Game Pass in its current form existing on PlayStation. They, they wouldn't allow that. But I, I do potentially see them creating a uh, Xbox Game Pass for PlayStation version of it, where it's kind of like you know, a specific fork that just includes Bethesda, Activision, and Xbox stuff, like the first party stuff, is like, I mean, obviously, you know, the first party stuff's doing pretty good on there, you know, Sea of Thieves, the great pre-orders, everything like that, some of the top sellers on PlayStation right now are Xbox games, so we're going to be seeing Xbox moving over more of those exclusives, uh, probably this year and into the next year, so uh, at some point they'll have enough content on there to kind of do a... Xbox Game Pass, or PlayStation kind of thing, if that makes sense. Yeah. It just won't have third-party stuff. Because I doubt PlayStation would allow that. Because, yeah, keep in mind, like, PlayStation can tell them just to piss off, right? You got bourbon and rum? Veylander, you're not supposed to be drinking. I thought you were done. Or you can have fun with the drinks. Stella! Cerveza? That's cool, but it's no Stella Artois. You're picking up a case of Stella at Costco tomorrow? Nice. That's what I did. They just got Stella at Costco. Literally, like, I think a month ago? Two months ago or something like that? A month and a half? And I'm like, I'm riding it. Perfect tape for Minecraft Kung Fu Panda. It still doesn't work. I have people at Mojang actually working on troubleshooting that for me. It still does not work. My Minecraft Kung Fu Panda pack will not unlock at all. Does PS Plus have more games? Uh, there, there's actually a lot of good stuff on PS Plus. Like, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Dying Light 2 is very good. I wouldn't know. I haven't been able to play it yet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing it, but, like, you know, we'll have to see when it fits on the schedule. Am I getting a 5090? Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to afford a house because I didn't get as much of a mortgage allowance as I was hoping for. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably buy a 5090 for the lols. I mean, what else am I going to spend money on, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll build a new PC and do a... Uh, what are they going to have, like a 15900K or something CPU and stuff? Yeah, might as well just piss away money. Can't buy... I can't afford a house in this economy, but uh, I can do that. Well, I can, I can afford a house, but just not, like, not a decent one. I can get, like, a townhouse. <laughs> like I said, guys, you have no idea how important it is, like, mortgage-wise, to have, like, a significant other. There's, there's just so much extra money there. Also, like, I'm self-employed, so, yeah, you're not... You're not as, uh, you know, you don't get as much. Did you see that grenade kill that guy as I shot that other guy? That was pretty cool. 
Okay, so they've got to do something about this game's unbalanced style of play that's promoting people to do crouch shooting. Because, man, I hate crouch shotting. It's, it's annoying. Well, not shots at the crotch, but, like, you know, when you're crouching up and down like we're playing Halo, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I hated that Halo kind of promoted that too, right? Where the crouch shooting in Halo 5 it was ridiculous. 5 and Infinite promotes that like crazy. This is like a Watch Dogs map? Yeah, Nuttle is uh, Watch Dogs 2, right? That's what we should do sometime, is a Watch Dogs 2 livestream. They have that on Game Pass? If they bring that back to Game Pass, we'll do it. Well, PlayStation, they actually they have the benefit, they have Ubisoft Classics. So there's like a whole bunch of Ubisoft stuff on the, uh, the PlayStation Plus. Like Xbox, they scooped up EA Play, which I think is better. And, uh, yeah, PlayStation, they picked up uh, the Ubisoft Classics. I mean, obviously it would be cool if we could have both on Xbox, but, uh... Yeah, I think the EA EA Play is a better value for Game Pass than like the Ubisoft Classics is, honestly. But you know, also their own. Self-employed and single is much more difficult. Yeah, I mean that's kind of I think pretty universal for like first-world countries, right? Is it's like it's, it's harder to get a, a decent mortgage and stuff like that. Hmm. Sucks to suck. I was, I was pretty deflated when I was at the bank kind of dealing with that. I was like, fuck. Because, you know, I had to pay my taxes, right? So I had to pay, like, a whole chunk of change. A big chunk of change. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, what kind of mortgage can I get? And she's like, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> it's like, uh, she's like, you get a townhouse. I was like, I know I can get a townhouse. <laughs> I was just like, come on. You think I don't know I can get a townhouse? I know I can get a townhouse. I don't want a townhouse. <laughs> it drives me crazy. We, we have a great sense of humor. I, actually, I really enjoy uh, my chats with my, my bank lady. We, we, have, we have lots of fun. <laughs> you get a townhouse. I don't want one. I was like, you know that. I'm driving crazy. Yeah. And then, like, the, the mortgage rates and stuff are going up. I did Watch Dogs 2 when it came... Did I stream Watch Dogs 2 when it came to Game Pass? I thought I just did a video on it. Hmm. I don't even remember that. Maybe I did. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember all this crap, man. I stream, like, every day. Which, again, if you're new to the channel, there's, there's a stream, like, every day around this time if you need something to do. It's like, I, for, oh, fuck, I forget some things. Like, I forget that I've played some games. I play so many games that I actually forget that I've played some games. Like, it's it's actually an amazing thing. Like, that, uh... What's that spaceship game from Ubisoft? Atlas something? Atlas Ford? Atlas Fallen? Uh, all of Atlas? Atlas of Bugsnax? Wow, meleeing in this game is useless. Uh... Whatever that's called. Um, I forgot that was a game until I downloaded it to do a Series X video on it. I was like, oh my god, I reviewed this and like did a video and everything on this game. I was like, I forgot I even like this was even a thing. I mean, there's lots going on all the time, right? I can't be expected to remember everything. I do remember it quite a bit, though. I, I think my memory is pretty sharp for stuff, but... Yeah, some stuff goes in, some stuff goes out. That was hmm. hardly by the book, Agent. Interesting. Newspapers to get a job? I think when people had newspapers to get a job, they were more likely actually going into stores and handing in resumes as opposed to using a newspaper. You're gonna have a drink? Baylander, I don't want to tempt you, but yeah, drinking is fun. Four mal it's me, multi-kill king. This is the third time. Three out of four matches, I've been the multi-kills best. Ugh. Let me look this up. Yeah, you're right. I, I streamed... I did stream Watch Dogs when they added it to Game Pass. <laughs> this is a very successful stream, actually. Wow. 
Totally forgot about that. Rainbow Six Extraction? Yeah, that one crashed and burned. Mm. What else was there? Oh yeah, for the house thing too, I like I, I waited a long time to also do stuff because I was waiting on getting like my status card so that I could get like so they give you if you have the card you can get up to like five percent or max twenty thousand towards the house. <laughs> but uh, their funding hasn't been restored since October. And I was like, what? Then they're like, yeah, it's it's random when we get funding. I was like, what do you mean it's random when you get funding? It's like, how do you buy a, a house and this this funding is random? It's just like, I just happened to buy a house and it's like, oh, funding's available. And it'd be like, yay. Or otherwise, it's just like, sucks to suck. Because it's only for like a first time house buy. And I was like, how how would you like prepare to do anything if, if it's random when funding's available? Like luck of the draw. I was like, god damn it. This is a bad week last week. <sighs> the 5090 costs as much of a, as a house? Yeah, no, definitely not at all. Am I checking out Hellblade next month? I assume so, but Xbox is so slow at sending out coverage for stuff these days and codes. I don't know. Probably. Probably. What, a 5090? It'll, it'll cost, like, what, 3000 Canadian or something like that? 2000 what, what did I usually spend on them? 2500 Canadian? 26 I think my last graphics, the 4090 was 26 Canadian or something like that. 25 This is 2500 This is not that bad, honestly. Domination. I get my money out of it. For the playbook, but I'm sure you'll yeah, so it was, like, 3000 or something. This is, this is not nearly the cost of a house. Compared to buying a house, a, a GPU is like pocket change. I know that sounds ridiculous, but the scale of cost between like actual housing versus like a graphics card is, is not even comparable. But uh, yeah, so, like for me, when I buy like a graphics card or something like that, uh, the, the idea of it really is that like it's time. A kill assist? Are you kidding me? Like I should have died from my hand. So like when I when I get a better graphics card, it determines how long it takes for me to make videos. So like there was this incredible update to my what was it? Video editing software to fully take advantage of the 4090 like a few months ago. And I, I can get like a video rendered, like a nice high bit rate, 4K, 60 FPS video. You know, I can render in less than half time, which is incredible, like 40% time. And then with like a more powerful GPU, you know, that could save me minutes of of rendering time, which I know doesn't sound necessarily thrilling to anyone, but like, you know, that's precious time of my life that I just literally, yeah. So basically the better GPU. Uh, the faster I can render videos and the faster I can do content and stuff like that. My bottleneck right now is my internet, which I have to buy a new house to get new internet. <laughs> Canada! It's all about the liberals, right? They, they do such a good job for this country. I love my third world internet. It's great. But uh, yeah, that's my bottleneck right now. But yeah, no, it's it's time. So if I buy a new GPU, I can render videos quicker at higher quality. And that's that's definitely like that's what I'm buying. Like some people, they buy a better graphics card for gaming. I buy it more. It's for work. I mean, I do play games on it and I do videos and stuff. But like, it is it's a work thing, right? Because let's be real here. I spend most of my time console gaming. Help me cap the zone, dude. You're right there. Jimmy's faded. Jimmy's too faded to help me out on this position, I guess. It'd be nice to be in a position where, like, I could get a graphics card from NVIDIA for free. That would save a lot of money. That would really cut down on costs. That's what I'm really gunning for, is, uh free next Nintendo console and free next PlayStation console. We'll see. My relationship with Xbox has like declined crazily over the last couple of like since Redfall. Whereas my relationship with like PlayStation and Nintendo is like getting better and better literally every day. It's actually amazing. Keep it going, Agent. 
it, it really is. Is YouTube my money maker? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is where I make my money. Spacesuit guy. I mean, my my background is in like web design and stuff, but like I I do as little web design as I can these days because I hate dealing with clients. They're terrible, uh, and they don't pay. So yeah, I'm pretty YouTube focused nowadays. I kind of like it, you know. It's it's decent. It's growing nicely every year. I'm, I'm decently happy doing it. I would like greater growth on YouTube, and then I could do less videos and stuff, and that would be nice, but, uh, you know. Grind while I'm young, and then when I'm older, it should be easier, and, uh, yeah, that's how she goes. Hmm. Let's cap this position. Did the other team quit? Like, they're, where are they at? It would capture faster if you entered the position. Oh my god. For <laughs> each relationship the Xbox gets worse every day, yeah. The 4090. Well, the, the 24 gigabytes. See, that's that's the thing that's always bad about the GPUs uh, from NVIDIA in the modern era, is they don't, they don't give you enough VRAM. <laughs> it's, it's the VRAM that's, that's the problem. They, they kind of cheap out on it a bit. But, uh... The, the 4090 is like a monster. Like, I could get away with using this... 4090 for probably like a decade if I wanted to, but I kind of sucked up in that sort of field of like, oh my god, new and more powerful, and if I have, you know, side income that I can put towards that, and it's a business write off and everything, yeah, I might as well go for it, right? Because that's my thing, if I buy a house, I can't afford that, but if I'm not able to buy a house, I might as well fucking splurge and have nice toys. Like, seriously. That's that's how I look at it, and it's an investment, and it's a write-off. Man, taxes are brutal in Canada. They're so brutal, man. Especially digital. Digital is uh, tax higher as opposed to physical earnings. Sucks. Having your internet wired straight to your router is better. I, all my internet stuff is wired. It's physically where I live, I cannot get uh, gigabit internet. It's a, it's a physical limitation. It has nothing to do with wires. Well, it has everything to do with wires. But it has nothing to do with um, wires inside the house. It has nothing to do with cords inside the house. Uh, I physically, I'm like in one of the last areas of the city that they're operating to fiber internet. Because, like, I think the government's mandating they have to, but they're, like, slow. Like, they're trying to do this area as slow as possible. <laughs> That's why I always say is the, the moment I buy a new house somewhere will be the moment they add fiber here. But, um, yeah, it's 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 a physical limitation. But, yeah, the Xbox is, is wired. My PC is wired. The PlayStation 5 is wireless. It doesn't, it doesn't get to be on the, the wired network. Poor PS5. Yeah, poor little, poor little PlayStation 5. <laughs> it's got a, well actually I, f I find that the PS5 does really well on a wireless like connect connection. Because I think it's got, doesn't have like Wi-Fi 5 whatever or something like that, 5 plus or some crap. Yeah. Does everything go well in the playtest? I was having issues loading into the playtest. It's always chill, Veylander. Did you get a drink? What did you get, Veylander? There was more comp competition in the GPU market. Yeah, I mean, that would be great, but people reject other GPUs, right? Like, AMD as, like, a GPU company is dead. Like, they just do cheap, low-end stuff. They can't compete in the higher market. NVIDIA's blowing them away. Intel is trying to, which is great. Like, more comp competition is great, but, like, NVIDIA just has the market. They have the best cards, and their cards are, what, a half decade ahead of anyone else's? They just make the best product, and they won. If the other companies would have invested more and made better products, maybe it wouldn't be like that, but that's just how it is. NVIDIA has the absolute best graphics cards in the market. 
by a long shot. Not even close. I think even AMD has bailed on doing high-end cards because they're not able to compete with it anymore. Because like I said, I, I used to have like a really, really high-end AMD card back in the day, but it died. And when I went to replace it with another AMD card, they didn't have any available. I switched over to NVIDIA, and I will never buy an AMD card again in my life. Because there's no point to. It would be like a massive downgrade. Also, their PR people were really snappy towards me at PAX West 17, so... Yeah, not an AMD fan. Believe it or not, PR relations do impact thoughts on things. I kind of like this map. It's a, it's a neat setup. You guys find that too many of the levels in this game are based on uh, division levels? Like, are cut from the division? Shut up about the ribbon, woman. Why does she keep talking about the ribbon? A bourbon. Ooh. Yeah. PS5 does better internet stuff. Yeah, it, it's really weird. Like, you would think, like, a company like Microsoft would be able to make, like, a better quality, like, product and stuff, but, like... Yeah, there's a lot of, like, Series X stuff where you kind of sit there and be like, man, PlayStation, they've... It's less powerful than the PS5, but the architecture is just, like, better somehow? Like, I, I just... I don't know how... Was it Cerny there? Oh, that's a cute snowman thing. I actually really like that snowman. Was it Cerny there? I, I don't know how the guy does it, but he, he makes gold work, and he just makes gold happen. But I was, I was also thinking that today while I was chilling out, eating my pizza pop, and, and drinking my, my Stella. Where I was like, man, I really like, like, Apple products. Which is weird, because when I was younger, it was kind of like, oh, no, 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 it's like, I don't like Macs, blah, blah, blah. I always liked app, like, iPhones. But, you know, I've got, like, an Apple Watch. I've got my iPhone, i got my AirPods, and I'm like, man, these products, they feel cool. They work. They're reliable. I don't know the last time I felt that from a Microsoft product, where it was, like, reliable, cool, worked well, and was awesome. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I was literally sitting there, I was like, huh. I, I think I've lost my, my Microsoft fanboyness, honestly. And I, I, I didn't think that would be, like, a thing that would go away, because I've loved Microsoft products since I was, like, four or something? Like Windows 95 I was using? But, yeah, they, I think they completely lost me. I, I don't know how they managed that. It's, it's amazing. AMD has good mid-GPUs. Yeah, like I said, they've got great cheap uh, GPUs, but I'm a high-end GPU user, so they're not for me. I can hold a grudge. I've been waiting for the downfall of GameStop since Crackdown 2 came out. I hold grudges forever. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely just, like, I, I have long-term grudges. Long-term. When did Crackdown 2 come out? Because they were supposed to, like, I pre-ordered and stuff, and they were supposed to give me my Crackdown 2 DLC. Luckily, I, I called the, the Xbox support people, and they helped me out with that. But, like, yeah, GameStop, it was, I think it was EB Games in Canada, same company. Yeah, they just told me to, like, shove it, and that was 2010. So I've been holding that grudge for 14 years, and I am just salivating at the idea of GameStop dying so that I can have my victory dance about not getting my Crackdown 2 DLC. I've hated GameStop for 14 fucking years. <laughs> they almost died during COVID except for those idiots that bought stock and kept them afloat. It was just close. But someday I will cheer victory of the death of GameStop. Someday. Yeah, I've, I've hated GameStop for 14 years now. But you know what I don't hate? Your likes on the stream, so be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifted, the Patreon option, and the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. There's also an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. I don't know if anyone from Xbox watches the channel and stuff, but my god, you guys are idiots for having this happening now thing. I hate this tab. I genuinely hate this tab with the highest passion I could ever imagine. What a dumb idea this was. Complete and utter idiots. Anyone that like designed this or felt this was needed on Xbox, 
Fucking idiot. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I passionately, I just, I can't get over how dumb this stupid bar is happening now. Why would you want this? I, I just, I can't. Why would you do that? I hope GameStop will die. I've been waiting 14 years for it. 14 years. Uh, if you're spending over a thousand, you might as well buy a 4090. I mean, there's lots of affordable cards. Is the 50 out yet? Uh, the, the rumors are that the 50 cards are supposed to come out this year. I mean, we don't know for sure, but yeah, the rumors are they're supposed the to be this year, so we'll, we'll wait and see. Huh. Yeah, we'll, we'll also see if I upgrade or not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where I'm at, basically, in the summer. That's still months and months away, because it would come out, what, in the fall? And they'd probably take pre-orders in the summer. And we would go from there. I'm kinda mad that woman got away from me. Oh, I thought we were doing escort. That's weird. I love this level. The zoo map is so neat. I like uh, maps and games that take place in weird places. Like aquariums and zoos and boardwalks and stuff. Yeah. Your GameStop croaked in 2021. Good. <laughs> like I said, I've I've just been I've just been waiting for that company to die since that crackdown two day. I think they they also pissed me off when I went and did the pre-orders of the Xbox One, and the employees were trying to keep all of the merchandise for themselves. They were like they were trashing the Xbox, but they were also like, oh, we should probably keep all of these pre-order things for ourselves too. And I was like, fuck you guys. As I'm like waiting out in line in the cold at midnight or whatever, and I was like, man, these guys are asses. So, yeah, I, I passionately hate GameStop. Passionately. And I just like, I know a lot of people hold such nostalgia and stuff for that company, but man, do I dislike them. <laughs> I, I really, really genuinely dislike that company. So we, do we capture that, or it's showing 75%? Do we have to like sit in them longer to capture them, or? That's weird. So what is this mode? You know what a good character perk would be one where you can like heal yourself like COD has, where you inject yourself and it like pops up your health? That would be useful. Is this the COD killer? Probably not. This is not bad, it's just aggressively average. Androids are better than iPhones? I disagree. I've been an Apple, like an iPhone user since the iPhone 4, and I can tell you it is the best phone in the market. I've reviewed like Samsung phones. They're pretty solid, but they're okay. But like Android OS and stuff, nah. It's alright, it's just the Apple product. It's so reliable. Like I have confidence that every single day when I wake up, my phone will work and will not have problems. I can't tell you how that re refreshing that is in a product have absolute confidence that it will work every single day. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's comfort is what it is, guys. It's called comfort. Uh, invite only cringe? Oh, you want to join? Is this invite only? I don't know where to, where do I adjust that? I'll go take like a celebratory photo outside of a GameStop when they finally close. I will cheer the destruction of their company. I'm not even kidding too. Like I, I really dislike them. 28 gigs of VRAM. Again, they, they always cheap out on the VRAM. That's just like a thing for this, like these newer NVIDIA cards. It drives me crazy. Maybe I can like talk to my NVIDIA guy. See, I had this great relationship with NVIDIA because of like CES and stuff. I was known as like one of the PR or one of the press guys that loves ray tracing. Where am I? Am I in like a room? Oh, I'm inside of somebody. I was like, I was like, what the hell? I'm in like a box, but this this guy's, I was inside this man. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was inside him. It was very intimate. But no, it was like, I had a great relationship with like the guy that, like the head guy that does PR for NVIDIA uh, because of like E3 and CES and stuff. And then when COVID happened, 
Like, I, I didn't run into the guy for years, so basically he doesn't really know who I am anymore, but I was like, it was so great, I was getting like NVIDIA opportunities, early access to stuff. The hell is this? Oh, we won? Okay. Oh, hey, Bert. So it's a little heartbreaking, because now we don't chat as much. I should try to like, pop in again and try to get that guy going, and you know, try to get the chat going, because I'd like a... I'd like a free graphics card, is what I'd really like. I'll do all kinds of PC videos. If I could change something about Xbox, what would that be? Uh, good games that run well. <laughs> so good exclusives that run well, I'll clarify better. You switch from Android to iPhone, and you never look back as a reliability. That's what I'm talking about, is it's just like, Seriously, like, I feel like some products, like Windows and stuff, is so buggy, and there's always problems with Windows, and I'm scared of every Windows update that comes out, because they somehow make it buggier. <laughs> every update. <laughs> like, I love Windows 10, but man, since day one, I've had nothing but problems with Windows 10. So I'm terrified of any update they do. But, like, for iPhone, it's just, like, it just works every day. It's amazing. How do I make this open for people to join? Do I have to invite Filet? What in the bloody hell is this? Lurkers online? The fuck is he doing? This menu is horrifying. Can I, can I invite through the regular thing? God, I hate that happening now button. Fuck. You're playing Fortnite? I feel like their goal was just to clutter this game. I can't even invite? Like, how do I invite somebody? Or is it because the lobby? The lobby's not full, there's still space left. Can I invite anybody? There's no invite system? How do you invite people to your game then? UI, ah, oh, it! My top games of all time? Uh, I think I have like a command for that. I'm asking too much of Xbox. I asked like the bare minimum out of that company and they still disappoint me like every day. I can't even, I can't, don't bother. Okay. <laughs> Are you saying like the invite system's broken and that's their uh, fling? Is that what's happening? I think we have like a fave games command. Cause I try to be really consistent okay, on that. I wish Zarcaster. Zarcaster always knows what it is. Uh, Halo 3, I think like Minecraft, Gears 1. Man, there's like, yeah, those are my like top kind of games. Shut up about the ribbons, woman. Stop telling me about ribbons. It's like if we'd played Call of Duty Black Ops and Ice Cube was just being like, Yo, man, you deserve a ribbon for that, like, every two minutes. Fucking drive you crazy. Going for zone B. She's so annoying, the ribbon thing. Risk. Is my webcam totally frozen? No, it's working now. Why do I think Xbox gave up the exclusives war? Because nobody's buying Xbox. You only give up your exclusives when your platform's dying. Case in point, Stadia. Case in point, Dreamcast. It's just what happens. They're just not telling you right away because they don't want people to, like, sell their Xboxes or not buy Xboxes, but... Yeah, you only stop doing exclusives when your platform's dead. Oh. Anyone that's been in the gaming industry long enough can tell you that. They've made themselves a bit of, like, a like a joke in the industry. They're a bit of a laughing stock, honestly. Like, I've talked with all my press friends and they just... They think it's an actual absolute joke that they got rid of all their exclusives. Or, sorry, they're in the process of doing so. Seriously, like, they, they kind of get, like, mocked for years, and it's like, you try to defend Xbox and stuff like that, and there's a certain point where you just kind of gotta be like... What, what do you say, right? Like, what what do you say? It's... You know? It's, it's, it's just gotten so bad. Da-da, da 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 Sometimes you just gotta, you know, move on and accept things. Even if you don't want to. 
Yeah, me and that like weird problem where I have this like addiction of trying to still collect games for Xbox, and I'm like, why do I keep doing this? It's crazy. I love my library. I've got so much more to lose than a lot of people, and it's just like, I should be getting codes for other platforms. What am I doing? But that's life. Pal World? I love Pal World. Do you think they're gonna... Oh, Call of Duty 4? Yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. Sorry, I've got, like, uh... I swear I have, like, a fave games command on the chat thing for Skybot, and I just can't remember what it is. Yeah. Wasted their money buying these companies? Uh, the fact that Xbox bought those companies is the only reason it even exists. Yeah. Fave game, fave movie, fave rum. Is it, like, top five? Zone C. Friendly's going for zone B. Hmm. Sorry, I, I can't find the command for like my favorite games. I swear I have a command for it, but I can't find it. I'm detecting hostiles. On you collect 360 stuff. Yeah, I I mean I've been buying more and more physical like 360 games over the last like year and a bit to do videos and stuff on and. There is just something special about the 360, and I think I'm either someone that's just weirdly nostalgic about it, and I'm never going to be able to accept anything's going to succeed it, or maybe the 360 just was as good as it gets for Xbox. I don't know. Because, you know, you go back to my streams and my videos of when the Series X first came out, and how optimistic I was, and I was like, oh, this is, you know, I'm liking this more than 360, there's so much potential here, and then now I'm just kind of like, eh. <laughs> It's, uh, it's weird how deflated it's become, honestly. And it shouldn't be, like, I mean, they own Bethesda and Activision, they have everything, and it's just like, it feels... just kind of sad. <laughs> feels kind of sad. I, I don't know, maybe we don't have a command for it, but I thought we had a command that was, like, my top five games, but I could, I could be wrong. I think my green screen got a little messed up because of yesterday's Star Trek stream. Not there, Caster. <sighs> yeah. But seriously, though, if Xbox hadn't made strategic moves to buy, like, Bethesda and Activision, they would have just, like, shuttered the, the company and stuff like that. Like, Xbox will always exist in gaming now, forever, but it won't, like, necessarily exist as a console. And it's because, you know, they own, like, all these big publishers, they'll still always make money in software. And there's lots of money to be made in gaming, and there were smart investments, but, like, they didn't leverage those investments to grow their platform. Yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but... This is how it goes. Don't worry, what's gonna happen is they're gonna bow out of the console industry. And then they're gonna buy Nintendo. Because then there's not gonna be any blocking that happens. And then they'll make the Nintendo Switch to the next Xbox. And then they'll win gaming. Through buying companies. It's the Microsoft way. <laughs> No, that is how you win in tech, though, is you... What, what, what do they call that? There's a specific Microsoft terminology that was created. You buy, extinguish, and... Uh, I can't remember what the term is. There's, there's, like, seriously, they have a specific terminology in the tech industry based on Microsoft's uh, methodology, or methodology, where it's kind of like you buy, extinguish, and then restart or something. Like, there's a three-word combo thing. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. They sagged themselves. Saga. Well, Xbox has always been involved in PC, even before they were Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, no, the 360 was uh, was was the way to go. They're actually probably happy they didn't buy Ubisoft. Ubisoft's been struggling for a while. And Ubisoft was their sort of saving grace in regards to getting that Activision deal across the uh, across the finish line because Ubisoft took over the cloud rights, which in turn will actually keep Ubisoft afloat uh, for the long term too because of that deal. It's basically Xbox kind of saved Ubisoft as well, which is kind of funny, but hmm, weird how that works, right? Xbox buying another company saved Ubisoft and kept them floating. Don't make 
But I got to use my fun goggles. I just got my goggles. That's lame. Nah, Filet's not playing. He's he's playing Fortnite. He's too good to play X Defiant. They they spend all day playing X Defiant. They gotta play something else. Ah. Uh, Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to uh, like that there stream. Subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Channel member to gift in the Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and aggressively all right to below average times. And there's an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that. Xbox is like a football club that buys all the good players. They're like the Yankees, where they just buy all the great players. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I gotta look that up because I'm wondering what the phrase is buy extinguish let me look this up oh sorry here it's the three E's embrace extend and extinguish <laughs> <laughs> it's got a wikipedia page <laughs> Oh, there we go. Of course, webcam freezes again. Embrace, extend, and extinguish. It's it's a phrase that the U.S. Department of Gover Department of Justice found was used internally by Microsoft to describe their strategy. <laughs> Embrace, extend, and extinguish. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, so that's that's how they're that's how Microsoft has always operated. But they like they play a little bit more friendly nowadays. Well, Activision, I think buying Activision actually brought out their more competitive side, which was fun. Like I miss competitive and brutal Microsoft. I always thought they were more fun that way when they had a little bit of teeth. I think that's what Xbox has really lacked is like management that has like any sort of like actual like teeth or a desire to like win. Like, you guys can hate Don Matrick all you want, man, but him, Peter Moore and stuff, those guys actually, like, were competitive. They were aggressive. It's, like, I'm too friendly now. That's not what gaming is. You're AFK for the Battle Pass? You're talking about AFC? Because you're not away from a keyboard if you're playing on a console. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your birthday with Godzilla and Kong. That's, that's great there. I think I congratulated you on the, uh, what's it, the channel post today? Yeah. Extend extinguish. We need to make that a Skybot terminology thing. Let me let me grab a picture of that, like a screenshot, and we'll turn it into a, uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll turn it into a bot command. Extinguish. Embrace, extend, and extinguish. <laughs> Admiring your handiwork. There's something really dirty sounding about that like approach. Like it's like so brutal. But that's how tech companies work, is uh, you keep building your size, your scale, and whenever you see a competitor come up, you buy them and then remove their product from the industry. That's how you keep on the top and whatnot. Yeah, that's that's the adoration there. Microsoft was also exposed for ranking journalists, press people like a credit score. Okay, that's kind of funny too. But you know that that is something we've talked about many times. That like to Microsoft and other companies, like I've literally, I'm like a number and I have a value, and that's what I provide to that company is I have a value point. So them ranking press via like a credit score type thing makes perfect sense because I guarantee that's exactly what they do. I don't see any necessary back. problem with that, but uh, that's exactly it, too. Because you ever notice how there's, like, certain guys that do, like, the gaming press that seem to have access to certain things that other people don't? Like, there's, uh... I don't know how to describe it, but, like, the type of stuff that was it that Jazz guy has access to, information-wise, that would get you, uh... You know, uh, what, what's the phrase I'm trying to think of? Not blackwalled, uh... Hmm. Uh, the, the term is not coming to me as I'm trying to shoot and kill people. Might have to recommend you for a ribbon at this rate. Ah, oh, shut up about the ribbon. Fuck. <laughs> There's one thing I can fix about this game. It's her stupid thing, the the ribbon crap. Uh. Can't think of the term. 
Why, why am I struggling with that terminology? We use it all the time. Blacklisted, that's that's the word. Yeah, so like that Chess guy, if you have the information he has on Microsoft stuff, you would get blacklisted. You wouldn't get access to anything if you were leaking information like that. But like they, Microsoft feeds out information through that guy and through other people. He's basically like a talking piece for Xbox and whatnot and Microsoft. Same with like Windows Central as a site, that's their purpose basically is to like you know, they get the exclusive on stuff, blah, 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 but, you know, seriously, you, you get blacklisted for having that kind of information and, like, leaking it and whatnot. Because, like, some of the information that, like, you notice how he, like, basically crash and burned Xbox and all of a sudden he's got all this, like, insider info again suddenly? It's like, mm, okay. Mm, okay. Garrison and COD Cold War? Oh, remember Garrison. Five. We're all about the X Defiant guys. The COD killer! We're here to kill COD. Stab, stab, stab. We need a gif of me stabbing a fish and it'd be like... COD killer. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if... Uh, I don't know if we could do that because Ubisoft has... Or not Ubisoft. YouTube has like certain rules about violence towards things. Yeah. You'll be playing Xbox Tell Us No More. That's totally cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure I'll be here milking it till the end of its day, but it's just kind of sad that they didn't try to preserve the console market. My other favorite thing, too, was that forward compatibility crap. Because they, what they're really trying to do is just calm the masses, and I can't believe people keep falling for this stuff. They're like, we're doing forward compatibility. It's like, well, yeah, no shit. I mean, that's what backwards compatibility is, is forward compatibility. You're just phrasing it in a time where people are worried about their libraries disappearing. You're, tr you're trying to make things sound good. Like, if you're doing a next console, you have to have a team that works on forward compatibility, which you would call backward compatibility. But forward compatibility makes it sound like your library is sticking around longer than it is. And people fall for it, and they're like, oh, it's a big thing, it's like, they're, they're preserving our games, and they're like, yeah, they already were. And if you're releasing a new Xbox in, say, 2026, you got to have a team that sits there and tries every game to make sure it actually runs on the new console. They did the same thing for the Xbox One and the Series XS. But people are like, oh, it's this new exciting thing that initiative Xbox is doing, and it's like, no, it's not. They're just doing PR. It's like, I don't... I don't know how people fall for stuff like that, or don't use, like, critical thinking. This'll be a fun report to Red Robins? Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting slightly older. Not too long from now. I, I'm pretty excited. Um, I, like, every every year, the birthday time, I get to, like... What, what happens in my family is you pick a restaurant, and then, you know, you get taken out to go and eat that restaurant. I usually do like East Side Mario's because I like the bread. I just eat bread. Like I go, I get the bread, and uh, mm, what's what's that thing called? The veggie soup. I love it. It's uh, not tortellini. Um, hmm. You know the soup that's got all the different vegetables in it. It's it's really good. I can't remember the the terminology of it though. It's got a name. Let me look this up. Soup with vegetables. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it's not vegetable soup. God, Google, you're useless. It's got like a fancy name. You guys know what I'm talking about? I, I gotta look this up. Eastside Mario soups. We'll get to the bottom of this. Wasside? No, Eastside Mario's soups. It's like a very common soup, too, and I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Soups and salads. Garden salad. No, I need your soups. Ravioli. Did they get rid of my soup? They don't have my soup? What the fuck? They don't have my, my soup at Eastside Mario's now. Minestrone! That's, that's it. Minestrone. You guys know what's up. <laughs> I'm glad you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, minestrone. I love that soup. So I go to Eastside Mario's and like, like every year for my birthday, and I just literally order 
bread and minestrone. I also get like a chicken parmesan, but I don't care about the chicken parmesan because I'm there to eat the soup and the bread. That's it. I don't care about anything else. And I was just like, yeah, it's minestrone. You guys know what's up. And that's like my jam for my birthday is going and eating minestrone and bread. <laughs> that's that's what makes me happy is, is the bread. I just sit there and I just like scoff down bread. And everyone's like, well, it's your birthday. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> bread fiend but but this year I'm, I'm mixing it up i want to go there's this place called the banquet and i've wanted to go for a while and it's like it's this place in uh, mahogany which is the nice neighborhood in town and like they have like the prices right wheel so you can like spin the big wheel and they've got like bowling there and it looks like a really cool place with all these plants and stuff and i really want to go so that's my, uh, that's my birthday meal place this, uh, this time around, so that's, that's exciting. <sighs> but now I'm thinking I should go and get myself some fucking bread. How do they get behind us? Minestrone is, like, the best soup. I didn't discover minestrone until, like, my later years. But, like, that soup is god tier. I don't know what it is about minestrone, but it is so good. I think it's just the combination of like vegetables and stuff in it. It just rocks my world. <laughs> like, you know, like chicken noodles good and uh, broccoli soup. Broccoli and cheese is actually strangely good. You know, there's all these different kinds of soup. There's some Costco soup that's like really spicy that they make. I really like that soup. But like, man, minestrone is just like, it's the soup of dreams. I didn't even discover it until my adult life, and I was like, this is like the soup. And it's just like vegetables and stuff, but it's so good. Crispy bacon? More like dead bacon. Man, now I'm bummed out about not going and getting bread. Maybe I'll have to take myself out for dinner. I have... Like a long, long time ago, I was I was gifted like a meal card from like Xbox. I think this was like literally seven years ago. I still have it because I kept trying to find like a date that I was like special enough to me to like go and eat at like a restaurant. And it's like this meal card. I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that. I'm just gonna have to pick a day and just go and like have a nice dinner, I guess, by myself. But yeah, I had this card that they give me. Because cards, they don't, um... Like, they don't expire in Canada. At least I don't think that card should expire. Like, I think cash value always has value. It might have a declining value, I don't know. But I should go and check it out. But, uh... I love the aquarium here. So well done. Yeah, I should go take myself out for a dinner. And, uh, have my bread and stuff. <laughs> Maybe if I feel motivated, uh, like a week or so, and I think about it, I'll go do that. But I have this card from them from like literally seven years ago that I never used. And it's got like it works for a bunch of different restaurants. Lollipop chainsaw. That's uh, supposed to come out at the end of the year still. Yeah, it's supposed to be the end of the year. The death of Cod. You know it's our caster. Yeah. Hmm. This is on Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, PC. And you can download it for free on this test weekend of weekends. It's going to be really weird when we have a good enough Nintendo console next year that actually plays all these big shooters and stuff. And I'm going to start reviewing all these big shooters on the on a Nintendo console. It's going to be weird using the Joy-Cons, like the next-gen Joy-Cons to play <laughs> like Call of Duty and stuff. It's going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder if the next Nintendo console is going to promote or kind of poke Xbox to, like, remaster old CODs. That would be pretty sweet. You know, get, like, World at War and everything remastered for that next Nintendo console and stuff. Make good extra money. Be sweet. What's the name of the restaurant? The one I want to go to? It's called uh, The Banquet. Like, or, or just Banquet, I think it's called. Yeah, it's in Mahogany. 
I'm very excited. Yeah, it's, it's like a whole thing. I've been envisioning going there for like a year or so. But it's like hard to find anybody that wants to go to like a restaurant. And it's like kind of weird to dine by yourself. I don't mind dining by myself, but it's kind of weird. And besides, I want to see if somebody could take a video of me doing the uh, the Price is Right wheel and like, you know, spinning it and be like, da 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 da. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's a whole thing. I've I've envisioned this in my mind. It's it's a whole thing. Next Nintendo better come with a proper controller. Not in this economy. A sinus headache? Well, hopefully I don't die there, Ultimate Dominion. It's eight years old. What's eight years old? The Nintendo console? Or... Hmm. A normal PDP controller? Oh, yeah, no, they have lots of attachment controllers for the next. Well, we're talking about the next Nintendo console. Right? Probably do like a pro. I, I'm assuming since I'm going to be covering that next Nintendo console more seriously, I'll probably buy the pro controller for it or get like a custom one or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no, I haven't been to Eastside Mario's in a long time. I should do like a, a dinner night and really treat myself. I deserve it, you know. Damn it, we got to kill these guys. A burger and fries. Oh, that's nice. I thought Red Robins was where you eat ice cream, isn't it? Yeah, I thought Red Robins was for ice cream. We don't have Red Robins in Canada land, at least not where I live. Yeah, oh geez. That actually reminds me, I need to get my uh, passport renewed in case I ever get the opportunity to fly somewhere or something. Should probably get on that. Pepperoni slum. You should eat pasta every day. Pasta has gotten so expensive. It's really weird. That's one thing I've noticed with the uh, inflation is like things that were like traditionally considered very cheap, affordable types of food are now expensive, and you get less of them than you used to. Like the shrinkflation is real and scary. Man, I just can't fucking kill any of these guys. This match is going horribly for me. The new Nintendo... Yeah, I'd like achievements on the new Nintendo console. My dream was always that Nintendo would adapt the Xbox achievement system. But I doubt that'll ever happen. Fuck me, man. I'm just dying this match. I don't like it. Because I always thought that would be the best way for me to like waste time away on Nintendo. Was just if they added Xbox achievements, I would just spend so much time on there. But I also don't think Nintendo cares about an achievement system, and... Yeah, I, I just I don't think they care at all, which is a bit of a shame. But it, it would be pretty cool if that became a thing on there. Because it is an excuse to, like, work harder on certain games and do stuff you wouldn't do. That was the whole point of the achievement system, was to get you to try different parts of a game and increase the playtime. Inflation will never go away. Yeah, I know that, but usually we don't see such jumps in the cost of things, if that makes sense. Like, I've never seen it as brutal as I've seen it over the last couple of years, where products are shrinking entirely, and the price just, like, keeps skyrocketing. Like, it's, it's really bad. Yeah. When is my birthday? That's a great question. Red Robin says unlimited fries. Really? That's interesting. I've never had Red Robin on my radar of like places to eat if I go to the US. Like in the US, well, if I go to the US again, there's a few places I want to eat at. I want to eat at White Castle, Sonic. Is it called Sonic or Sonics? Uh, and uh, Jack in the Box. Those are the food places I want to go eat if I go back to the States again at some point. So I used to go every year for like E3 and CES and stuff, and like occasionally I'd get to go check out a food place I wanted to go check out. But yeah, those ones have always kind of evaded me as places I'd like to go and try and see what it's like. But yeah, I never had Red Robins on my list. I just thought of it as an ice cream place. Or am I thinking of Baskin Robins? Hmm. 
Yeah. Again, different food places in different places. Uh, Canada, we're getting, was it Jersey Mike subs and stuff and that? Yeah. Even Steam Decks. Well, Steam Deck uses the Steam achievements. The whole whole world shutting down would have consequences. It it changes things. It really does, and it long term changes stuff too. The Jill Valentine cut is that what my character has? I just pick her because she's got that like really really powerful ultra ultimate ability. And her, she used to have invis too, but I guess that's gone. I I don't know, but she's got like an insta kill pistol thing. It's great. Yeah, go to mum and pop places, but that's that's not the point though. Like, I'm not specifically looking for good food. I'm looking for food that was always advertised to me. So when you grow up in Canada, we have, like, you know, commercials and stuff like that. Well, I guess TV's different now. But, like, growing up, you know, we had commercials and we had American channels. So I was always advertised these very specific places, like Sonic's, the Jack in the Box, and White Cat. Like, these advertisements are why I want to go eat at these places. It's not because I think the food's going to be great or anything or special or anything. But it's just because I was advertised for so long when I was younger. I just want to see what they're like. Like, obviously, a mom and pop's place is going to be better. That's anywhere you go, right? But that's not really the point of it. It's just because I want to go and try that stuff, right? Hmm. In and out. We have in and out and stuff. At least I think we do. Do we have in and out? I think I've had in and out. Yeah. Jersey Mike's is legit. So yeah, Jersey Mike's and this other one we're getting in Canada in the next couple years. We're getting these new sub places. That's why Subway is like up in their business. Jack in the Box is okay. Hmm. But stay in your own home because then you... Well, that's a great, uh, great thing to hear about from White Castle and stuff like that. But that's what I'm saying is like some of these places I'd like to try out because of the whole I'm aware of them from you know years and years and years of the advertisements. And I just want to see what they're like. There's a Jack in the Box, the the grandma ma she always had on her car, uh, the Jack, little topper, you know, for like the. Oh my God! Remember when cars used to have the antennas? Do they have antennas anymore? You know those ridiculous... Yeah, they used to have, like, metal antennas, and then you would put, like, a stopper on them. She always had a jack-in-the-box stopper on top of it. I forgot that was a thing. I don't... My car, I don't think, has that, does it? The antennas, it's got, like, a little bopper thing. I, I'm gonna have to look at my car. Actually, my car's got, like, a little bit of rust showing up on the, uh, the trunk. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to grind that down and repaint it so it doesn't spread and rust the rest of my vehicle. That's a project I have on the way. New York? Yeah, I don't really want to pay for the uh, the cost of the New York experience. I did always want to do the New York, uh, not the Comic-Con, the Toy Fair. Yeah, we used to have a guy that would go and do Toy Fair. And, uh, yeah, I've always wanted to go do the Toy Fair, but it's, it's just so expensive to do New York. It's just not worth it for me. But yeah, I've heard there's lots of good food places and stuff there. My my mama, no, my grandmama had that. Yeah, she had the the jack kind of stopper for the car or something like that. I don't know if I have that. Hmm. I don't know if I took that out of like the inheritance stuff or not. Maybe my mother ended up with it. But yeah, she always had this like jack stopper thing, and that's you know that's what I really know that company from is the it was like on the little dopper thing. Yeah. Hmm. Business hunted? What what is business hunted? Sonic is good. Hmm. You guys find five guys is like really expensive. Like it's pretty decent, but like it's overly expensive, I found. Yeah. Oh, and it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donations cool. Consider becoming a channel member, channel member to gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. It's also an Amazon store affiliate link if you're into that kind of thing. I don't like this game mode. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the maps or something like this. I, I don't like this game mode. Uh, it, just, it feels kind of like slow. I might take it out of rotation. 
I don't know. This is not really hidden for me. Might have to recommend you for a ribbon at this rate. Hmm. New York subways? Like, the actual subway system? I should drive to Sonic's? Is, does Sonic do the thing where they bring out the, the food to you and stuff in your car? Because that would be kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know. I just, like, I hope at some point I get to go try those places. I'm also really due for, like, a Disneyland visit. I wanted to see Star Wars Land. I really wanted to meet a lady that really likes Star Wars, or, well, another lady that really likes Star Wars, because I want to go to Star Wars Land, like, have an excuse to go to Disneyland to go to Star Wars. I was going to do that for E3. I had it planned, and then E3 got cancelled because of COVID, and now it's dead, so I don't really have an excuse to ever go to LA again. And I feel like if I was vacationing, I probably wouldn't want to go to LA, because I've been there so many times, and it's kind of like a boring, like, concrete city, but like it would be cool to do Star Wars Land. I guess I could go to Florida, couldn't I? Yeah, Florida, they do like the Disney World and uh, you know, they have all the other stuff, right? They've got like the Harry Potter and the, that would be really neat. Maybe that's what I should be interested in. Five, but four, you know, Disneyland three, is so much closer. Two, it's only like, what, LA is like three and a half hours? An easy flight. <sighs> they bring food to your car. See, that would be fun. That would be really cool. I wish uh, A&W still did that. I like A&W a lot, but it's like too expensive and never filling. I really like Wendy's as well, but like I wish Wendy's had better quality. Like I feel like the quality of Wendy's has gone down so much over the last decade. It's tragic. A cute girl who likes Star Wars? The one lady I really liked liked Star Wars. And then she hurt me. <laughs> yeah. Weird, they're sus is what it is. Do I love Brazilian viewers? I like to think of all viewers as equally valuable. Or something like that. Bum 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 bum. Taco Bell? Taco Bells are everywhere. I, I hate Taco Bell, honestly, actually. I'm like, I always wanted to go to Taco Bell. I never did. I went to Taco Bell with this one gal in high school. And I, it wasn't during high school, but it was like... Like, I was in high school, but like we were hanging out. Like, you know, like a weekend or something like that. We went to Taco Bell. Because it was by where she worked. And I felt so sick afterwards. Like, like I went in there too, and I was kind of like... They're, they're sort of weird. I don't know if other Taco Bells are like this, but they didn't have... Because I wanted to order just like a taco, like I just they had all these other things. I was like, can I get a taco? And they're like, yep. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, two tacos? He's like, all right. And I'm like, Mexi fries? <laughs> I was very confused. I was just like, I don't know how to order here because they don't have anything up on the board. And then I ate the tacos and I felt so sick and I was like, yeah, I'm not eating there again. It was like taco time I think is better, but also I don't. Like, I'd rather do my own home tacos than go somewhere to eat tacos, you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather make my tacos at home because I think I'd do a better job of it than the stores and it's cheaper, and yeah. I don't feel the value in going to those places, but I, I know the Americans, they, they live for the Taco Bell. But, yeah, yeah. Del Tacos? There's always another one gal or another gal. Doesn't matter. That one lady, that's my point. Well, you know, it's, uh, there's there's always a chance that others might like Star Wars. You never know. I mean, honestly, like, I don't even like Star Wars at this point, which is kind of funny. I mean, it would be a nice thing to have, but I don't think it's a big deal. Because, yeah, I, like, I literally don't even really care about Star Wars anymore, which is wild. But, yeah, I think Disney kind of killed it. But I still want to go to Disney or Star Wars World because I want to, you know... I want to experience that. So I don't even know if you need a lady that loves Star Wars, but maybe one that just, like, tolerates it and would spend a day doing the Star Wars activities at Disney Place or whatever would be fine. You know. Hmm. Yeah, but I remember being so ecstatic when the lady was, like, really into Star Wars. I was like, oh, 
what are the odds? Because I really was digging her. And then she's like, oh yeah, no, I love Star Wars. And I'm like, fuck yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, jackpot. And then like it totally like, <laughs> it's like, oh, sucks to suck. Donair kebabs? I, I've never heard of that in my life, so I'm assuming no. My favorite foods? I don't know. What do you mean my favorite foods? I like lots of different kinds of food. If I'm doing fast food though, it's Opa. And Opa, they've increased the prices recently, which kind of is like, it's teetering on the edge of not being valuable. Because I used to get, you would buy, it was like 10 something dollars, you would get a pita with a ton of fries. And now you pay 12 70 I think at least plus, an, I think it's like 13 50 now I pay. And that's because I buy a pita and extra extra fries, and now my extra extra fries is less than I used to get with just a pita and fries. Like literally from like three years ago or so. It's heartbreaking. But like, yeah, Opa is still like the only fast food place where I legitimately am like full after eating there. And I feel like I get my value out of it, but yeah, I love Opa. That's where it's at. I've, I've never, never heard of that donor place. I quote Star Wars every day. Yeah, but I don't really, like, I'm not into it, though, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not, oh, I'm excited for the new movie. Oh, I'm excited for the new show. Oh, I want to, like, I literally, like, will do the Ray show, and I, I don't want to watch, or the Ray movie, I don't want to watch it. Or, like, like, I don't know the last new, the last new Star Wars thing I saw was The Mandalorian Season 2. And then I was done, and I haven't watched anything new from Star Wars. I still like the games, but that Outlaws game kind of that... I don't know if I'm excited about it, but like... Yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm very like indifferent towards it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like any of the new stuff, I'm, or I'm, I'm just disinterested in the new stuff. So I don't like hate Star Wars, but I'm not like really into it like I was when I was younger. Or even from a few years ago. Yeah, it's, it's like an apathy where I'm just kind of like, eh. This was the Mandalorian and the and Grogu movie. I, I won't go watch that in a theater. Unless it's like free and they save my seat, which Disney doesn't like to do. Same with, uh, was it the Ray movie? I won't. I won't go watch that. And just the TV shows. I won't. I don't have any interest in watching any of those. Just over here admiring your I'm just work. disinterested in it. Season three was filler. Go to Germany? Well, I mean, if I'm ever in Germany for for donors, I guess I'll go do that. Canadian poutines? Ah, oh, you get those everywhere here. Hmm. I need to go to authentic Mexican food places. We don't really have a lot of those where I live, and I don't specifically know what I would go and eat there. Hmm. Chinese food. There's a, there is like a specific Chinese food place that uh, my family always goes and eats at. They used to be right where I lived, and now they've moved somewhere else, but like they are the place to go get Chinese food. But I don't, I don't really like the Chinese food. I just think it's a lot of overpriced random stuff just thrown together. I don't like a lot of the food in it. I do love the the red chicken things with the pineapples is really good and the ginger beef. But like I'm not really into noodles and I'm not into rice and I'm not into this other stuff. So it's like Chinese food really isn't good value for me because I don't like a lot of the food in it. Uh, the last time I picked up the food from there though was last summer for the grandmother that she could have a birthday have Chinese food thing. She really enjoyed it. Uh, you. Yeah. Cooking with Sky number three tacos. See, that's a funny thing. Okay, so for Forza Horizon 5, because it's in Mexico, uh, Xbox Canada actually set up a thing where I was able to do like a remote cooking session with someone that was on MasterChef Canada. And she like basically did like they sent us a, a kit to make tacos like the special kind of tacos and they were doing it like they were guiding you through and stuff and I was like man I should have filmed that because it would have been hilarious I've told the story before but I was preparing the pepper or whatever 
and it like it squirted and it got my eye and i was like not able to like i had to have someone else come in and take over the taco making because i couldn't see because my eye was burning and it also got under my nail so my finger was burning too and i was just like oh and it would have made for a very funny funny cooking video to have done that it would have been hilarious so we missed out on that your girl, your girl has multiple Star Wars tattoos. Yeah, you better get some Halo ones to match, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not necessarily like super into the tattoo stuff because I think long term it just kind of fades and stuff. One gal, she had a, like an aquatic thing going on. I really like that. It was kind of cool, but man, not huge on that stuff. But, you know, all to their own, right? Andor is dark and broody, and again, I just literally don't care about it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing, is I just don't care about the Star Wars stuff. And that's where I'm kind of saying where it's like, I don't really like it anymore, is it just like, I have zero interest in anything new coming from it. I mean, games I'm gonna play and cover because that's my industry and stuff, but like, for the movies and stuff for Star Wars, I just... Indifference is, is what it is, it's complete indifference. And I don't even know how they manage that, because I've liked Star Wars since I was, like, popping in freaking VHS tapes. It's, it's amazing they were able to accomplish that. It's like an actual accomplishment. Hmm. Stop talking about food, but everything is about food. I'd say I'm hungry, but I'm not really. But I am feeling hungrier, because we are talking about it. I, I was well fed today, I would say. Well, well fed. And I enjoyed ever so many margarita, margarita, margaritas. Eliminate pineapple? So they can't yeah, I'm all about I love pineapple. I put that crap on everything. We have the gif of me eating the, drinking out of the pineapple. Let's see if we can pop that up there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I actually, I have pineapple spears right now, where you know, you go stabby stabby with the stuff. I got pineapple spears. I love the pineapples on the pizza. That's that's my thing, man. Hmm. That's life. That's that's life. It's man, I am a multi-killer. This is like the fifth time I've had this today. I get multi-kills. That's what I do. I don't kill one person at a time. I kill multiple people. Allegedly. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I love the pineapple piece and stuff. I always have since I was a young, young child. It's just, it's a nice extra layering to the uh, the pizza. What can I say? That's what life's all about. Pineapple pizza. It's all about having it on the pizza. I actually feel weird and uncomfortable when people don't put pineapples on their pizza. It's like, what is wrong with you? Do you not like moist, good taste? Yeah. What movie or TV show do I watch on my free time? Uh, I'm not watching anything recently. I don't really have a lot of time to watch movies and TV shows. I used to. Before I was streaming each night, I'd watch like two movies a night or so. Maybe sometimes three while I did work, but... Yeah, streaming and the videos and everything is, is a lot of work. Unless I'm going to like a theater to watch something, which is very rare these days. Uh, yeah. So I don't have anything I'm specifically watching now. Like, Curb Your Enthusiasm just finished, so that's done. I watched the Fallout show to review it, which isn't the same as just watching it. And there's nothing on my radar. I mean, I'm sure something eventually will come up that will grab my attention to watch, but... Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing at the moment. It's pretty quiet on that front. Pineapple on pizza is life, guys. I don't know what you guys' problem is. You just got you guys just don't have good taste for pizza. I mean like what else would you put on a pizza? <laughs> get good guys. And you can get better with your likes on the stream, subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and aggressively okay times. There's also an Amazon store flea link, if you're into that kind of thing. Domination. Where the fuck is my character? Did they pull my character from the game? Where, 
Where, where is she? Uh, the, the, the Splinter Cell people are gone. Uh, I will be... This character? Where's... Where, where the hell is the Splinter Cell character? Did they remove her? What the hell? She's gone. What do I normally eat on every day? Uh... I wake up, I have bear paws, and recently maybe like a Stella beer, depending on the day, depending on how I'm feeling. And then I have a, uh, a dinner that's kind of random, and then that's that's it, that's, that's what I eat. I have bear paws in the morning, and then... I eat some random dinner, and that's that's my food for the day. It's very economic. <laughs> very, very economic. Yeah. Hmm. I should check out the Fallout TV show. I, I should, shouldn't I, fully? You know how many times I've had that pop up where it's like... You should, you should watch it. I'm like, I did a review and everything of it. I was like, I, I watched it before most people did, right? I, like, watched it the day... Like, you know, I watched it, like, the week before it came out and everything like that. Hmm. Your psycho more like dead psycho. Does anyone know why I can't play as the weird splinter cell lady? Like, did they update the game and rip it, or is it because of this game mode? I'm so confused. Or maybe it's just like a bug or something. Because I'm like, there's not enough character factions for them to be taking some away. Did I tell you guys to like the stream and subscribe and become a channel member and the channel member gifting and the Patreon option and the Discord for stream alerts? in the Amazon store affiliate link. All nestled there in the video description that depending on the new UI or not, it will be somewhere all over your screen. What is it with the company's doing terrible UIs recently? Yeah, because the new YouTube UI is just, ugh, terrible. And what is it? I keep having to like fix Chrome. Like I accidentally crashed my computer by plugging in my Apple Watch to charge. And, uh, yeah, it was, like, it updated in my Chrome change, so I had to spend, like, ten minutes fixing Chrome so it didn't look all weird and fuchsia-colored, and I was like, what the hell? What the hell? Hmm. You're going to DC tomorrow? But why, Supa? Why? Captain's uncontested. They're on zone B! Light them up! Yeah, it's kind of weird not playing a Splinter Cell character. Sir Psycho, okay. I thought I was supposed to have, like, a uh, Molotov, not a grenade. I thought that was my character's speciality, or is it just the drone? Hmm. Did Amazon slash... Yes, it was It was literally Todd Howard. Uh, I was just like, you know, I was sleeping and at the door one day, Tom Howard, Todd Howard was just sitting there. He's like... Or he's just standing outside the door and he's like, you need to watch Fallout. Your time has come. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like... I've been in chats with Amazon for like three months or so because I wanted to get the Fallout show to cover and stuff. Hilariously, Paramount, really difficult to work with this time around to cover the Halo show. Absolute terrible communication from Paramount, honestly, just pitiful. And then Amazon was like, super easy, and yeah. I, guess, I think they just had more confidence in their product, honestly. Anyways, yeah. Hmm. Do yoga. Yeah, I, have, I haven't done yoga in a long time. There was one point where I was going to get into hot yoga again. I actually really quite like hot yoga, but I haven't done that in a long time. Bodybuilder. You, you do know I'm actually, like, pretty muscular, right? Like, I'm actually really in shape. But no, I, I don't do bodybuilding. It's 
not necessary. I, I play video games. I, I don't need to... And I don't need to be like a bodybuilding level of muscularness. There's just be silly. I mean, like, I guess if I really wanted to, I could probably pack on a lot of muscle, but I, I don't... Look at all the polar bears. I, I, I see zero benefit in wasting that kind of time doing that. Yeah, there's zero, zero knowledge in that. Hmm. You don't have the new YouTube UI? Must be nice, Zarcaster. Must be nice. Hot, what, what is hot yoga? You don't know what that is? We, I discovered that when I did, uh, did hockey when I was younger, like high school. So, like, hot yoga is, like, it's yoga, but you do it where the room is really heated. So it's, like, a warm floor, it's a warm environment, it's, it's like, a heated way to do yoga. Like, regular yoga is really hard on the body, like, the muscles and stuff, and... Yeah, it's, like, yeah, I, I, find, I find regular yoga, like, difficult for stretching and stuff, like, it's painful. But hot yoga is just kind of nice and flexible and easygoing. And, uh, yeah, you sweat a lot. Which, like, the first time I did it, I thought it was really weird and uncomfortable, but, like, I felt really sore afterwards, but, like, when you're done it, like, the next day and stuff, you feel just great. Yeah, hot yoga is pretty nice. It just, it, like, loosens you up really nicely. It's, it's really, it's a good feeling. But it's pretty expensive to be a part of. Yeah. Oh yeah. Quitting eight Amazon trusted me. Well, I mean, why wouldn't Amazon trust me? I've worked with like Disney for years, and I've worked with like I do all kinds of early access stuff. Why wouldn't they trust me? It's part of the job. Yeah, Disney. I used to do like Netflix reviewing and stuff. You get all kinds of access to things. Hmm. Like my modem fell against the wall. I'll have to fix that later, I guess, before it falls to the floor or something worse. Wonder if I should almost get up and fix it now in case it falls more. Uh, it's it's nestled fine. But it probably won't be a problem. Hmm. Okay, you guys are all a bit odd in the chat, that's fine. Let's focus on the action here. Very slow loading. Okay, here we go. We were the winners. I kind of wish we had achievements we could be working towards. That's how you know this game ain't ready. Oh my god, this what's happening tab kills me on the inside. It's like, I don't care that these people are doing stuff. Alright, so this tab here, does this mean Filet and It's Bam are playing together? Or does it just mean they're playing the same game? Because, like, this setup makes it look like they're playing in a party together. Maybe they are playing together. Do I know It's Bam? Are you guys friends? Who is It's Bam? Anyways, this What's Happening tab is the dumbest fucking thing they've ever added on Xbox. It's, it's terrible. Absolutely horrendous. Ooh, Times Square, we haven't done that tonight. But we're just gonna vote for Meltdown again, guys. Might as well play it like three, four times in a row. Yeah, okay. What about the Fun House? We haven't done that tonight either. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Stop the package. Yeah, they, uh... They, they took out the f they took out the freaking character from splinter cell the splinter cell characters are gone what the hell why why did they remove them from matchmaking what is this why did they remove them that's so odd you know it'd be a real shame if something happened to the enemy's package what is he going to do to the enemy's package? Can anybody go and look up why they removed the Splinter Cell character suddenly throughout the middle of our night? 
I told you she was too powerful, guys. I told you she was OP. That's how you know your character is OP, is when they remove it during the test because it's too strong. Let's play on the same map again that we've done 90 times. It's not like there's like three or four other levels. Ah, she smoked me. Looks like COD. Not really. I'd say the only way this looks like COD is it's just like a generic shooter, but... Yeah, I wouldn't say it really looks like COD. Wow, what a sniper? Oh, okay, it was a sniper, because I was like, what the hell? Did you guys, uh, speaking of, of generic shooters and whatnot, did you see Team Fortress 2 got a 64-bit update? Yeah, that was kind of funny. I, I guess, like, literally a few days ago or something like that, so, like a week ago? Was it a week ago, or was it this week? Yeah, they updated the 64-bit, so now it runs, uh, you'll get higher frame rates when you play Team Fortress 2 on PC. I was like, oh my god, that's random as hell get a quality of life update like that. That fire drone is worthless. Damn. Yeah, they took out the Splinter Cell character. The active camo was bugged. We'll just leave it in as a test weekend. How does the gunplay feel in this? Uh, not as good as COD. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's not as good gunplay as Call of Duty is. I, I guess I should do an updated review of this game, I suppose. Might as well milk the views from it, right? And it's hard to come up with video content when there's not, like, exciting new games to cover, if that makes sense. Like, it's a pretty dead month. It doesn't even... Yeah, it doesn't have Cheech and Chong, so it's like, why would you even want to play this without Cheech and Chong, man? I'll have to buy that pack, I think. It's like 3,000 COD coins. It's like, ugh, but yeah, I think I'll have to grab it. We'll do that tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow's a COD day, guys, if you guys want to jump in. We earn more battle pass when we play together. You can't win a war without Snoop Dogg. Woohoo! So yeah, if it says the connection services aren't working, just keep trying over and over again, and eventually you'll get in. It took me like five minutes before... I was able to play tonight, and then once you're in, you're just good to go. Crap. I slid right into her. Well, it's better to hear this guy than that lady going on and on about ribbons. Oh, I shall give you a ribbon for your performance match. Just started like one minute ago. I've just taken footsteps. You're so good. You should have a ribbon. That's like, oh my god. She's like the participation lady. You exist. May you be rewarded. Yeah. Tomorrow will be exciting? I don't know, man. Easy red. A lot of people like that game, and it's super affordable. I was blown away by the quantity of views I have on that Easy Red video I did. We really, I think, should have streamed it, but then I think that would have taken away from the views, maybe? But, like, yeah, Easy Red was was massive for me. If they release that on PlayStation, I'm gonna have to do a video on it, because... Man, that was, uh... That was some damn good views, seriously. I think that was one of my most popular videos the, the other month there, was Easy Red. Yeah, it was more popular than, like, even Dragon's Dogma and stuff, and I was like, what the hell? Dragon's Dogma, speaking of that one, I'm surprised that one didn't grow more for views. I was a little... Because it was, like, it was really hot off the bat, and then it, like, just plateaued out. Yeah. They're messing with the problem. I miss my revolver! Fucking Rick, oh my god. Better than uh, Skeletor with his grenade over and over and over. They never fix that. They never fix this goddamn stupid grenade. Why does he keep saying grenade? It's just unnecessary. Like, we know you're throwing a grenade. You don't need to say it out loud. 
Same with the uh, the stupid characters that yell reloading in battle. It's like, why would you yell reloading? People that are trying to kill you will be like, oh, he's reloading, let's shoot him. Unless it's like a strategy thing, but you know it's not because it's a video game. It's like you're just telling the other team to come and kill you because you're in a reload. Same with like, what was it, uh, Halo, they used to give you like medals and like, was it Halo 5 and stuff for reload? Like killing someone while they're reloading? And it's like, what is special about killing someone while they're reloading? If anything, it's kind of a cheap kill. Same with uh, Halo really got bad when they added like the generic kill medals. Like, what the fuck is that a medal? Generic kill. Oh my god. Just deflate the value stuff. Forgot about Dogma too. A little easy red too. Like like I said, I was just I was like flabbergasted by how well that video did. Like it, it didn't even make sense to me how popular it was. Like it's it, it's honestly crazy how big that game is. Like it's super cheap and affordable, which I think is awesome. But yeah, easy red. Yeah, I've, I've almost got forty thousand views on that video. I was like. Huh? <laughs> I was like, that is is weird. I was expecting the usual view count, and then yeah, almost forty thousand is wild. I wish all my videos were that popular. Then I'd be living pretty easy. Damn it. Tomorrow we put in the work. It's all about the battle pass, man. It's all about the battle pass. Battle passing hard, hardly battle passing. Damn it. They did it, guys. They beat us. They got the payload in. Oh, I can choose the firebomb over that? Oh, I thought it was both of them. That makes sense. That makes sense. There's a battle pass and we need to finish it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I guess since we got like 100 people watching, do you guys want a code for something? Should I drop an Xbox code for you guys? Let's go see what we got in the backlog. Uh, let's have a little code for you out here. Hmm. Oh, this one is a pretty cool game. Here we go, I'll drop this code for you guys. Just to celebrate that we have some people watching. And if we can crack 125 watching, I'll drop another code. But that one never happens, we never get that. Ugh, yeah. No cue to get into a game is a bad sign. I mean, I guess it depends on your perspective, I suppose. It just means nobody plays it. Or it means they just have good servers, or good setup servers. I don't know, is that a success metric for this game, that it has connection issues and you try to log in? Like, I know this one's kind of like popular and talked about because they call it like a COD killer, but I just... I just can't see like the long-term build-up for this. Hmm. Anyways, if you guys get the code to that game, you let me know. Deus. I, actually, I was playing Deus Ex... Uh, Mankind Divided? On PlayStation the other day? It actually runs at 4K on that platform, eh? Like, Xbox, we never got that for that game. We didn't get, like, that one got a PS4 Pro upgrade, and we, we never got that for Xbox. But yeah, it actually runs at a full 4K, which is pretty cool. It looks great, yeah. That's another game we should do a stream of sometime, is, uh, Deus Ex. I don't know if we do Human Revolution or Mankind Divided, but it be kind of a fun little random stream. So wait, you just throw the Molotov on the floor, or you don't even throw it in the air or anything? That's so fucking useless. Hmm. So you can't even throw the Molotov. It just goes on the ground. <sighs> Alright. Well, 
Damn it, how do we get up there? A wild code appeared. Sounds like Pokemon goers. Like a wild creature has appeared. Okay, we gotta beat their 100% in four minutes. Ugh. That's not gonna be easy, but you know what is gonna be easy, guys? Liking the stream! <gasps> Subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. So yeah, it just burns the floor. What a dumb ability that is. I guess, unless you're standing on a position. Okay, anyways. Uh, what do we say? The gifting, patron option, the Discord for stream alerts, and the Amazon store affiliate link when you're into that kind of thing. Or if you're into that kind of thing. When is a Dying Light 2 stream? I don't know. Uh, eventually. I haven't downloaded, so, yeah. How do you stream at 4K without latency? You just get good. I mean, there is latency like you see it after I like it's it's delayed but uh, I don't know sound like Kaid 6 probably because he's from the division and they wear weird fire suits oh the announcers are very odd hmm interesting ba -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. But it's not hard to stream at 4K. You just kind of do it. It really isn't that difficult. It would look even better if I was, you know, living somewhere with a better internet connection. If I had gigabit, we'd really have some nice looking streams. I mean, I already think it looks pretty good, but... Yeah. If I had a faster internet connection, we'd be really popping. Almost to the checkpoint. Oh, and if we do actually beat 125 people watching at once, you guys will like have to let me know because the new YouTube UI, I can't see how many people are watching. Which pisses me off. I got the, yeah, where were you today, Zarcaster? That was the thing we were talking about in the Discord today, was I finally got the Dying Light 2 code. From Techland, directly, yeah. It only took like two years, but uh, yeah, no, they delivered it right away. I was like, oh, all right. So it's uh, right there, Dying Light 2, yep, downloaded. Awaiting a stream, I guess, at some point, whenever we fit it in. I'm not in a rush, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to it eventually, I suppose. Fuck. Sniper's pretty deadly. Especially considering how far I have to, like, run to get back to the, um, escorting the package. We've only got a minute left? Ugh. That's not good. We have to make a lot of ground in a minute. Which we're not we're not gonna win this. Withering rooms. Did you get it, Filet? Did somebody grab the code? Yeah, I made a video on Withering Rooms. I don't know if you saw it, but it's a really cool little horror game where it's kind of like it's like a bit of a roguelite. And uh, there's all these creatures and it's it's really, really neat, honestly. I was like I was just a little blown away by the game. It's this great little indie thing, but yeah, you, you play as this, like, little girl that's stuck in this, like, uh, insane asylum or something like that, and you're stuck in, like, a loop, so you're, like, you die, but you can, as, a, like, a little girl, you, like, can pick up, like, a cleaver and go cleave these big monsters and stuff. It's really entertaining. No, well, I tried my best, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for when the next match is here, so... Here's Psycho Sky, I'll be back in a sec. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Not long, guys.
Oh, would you look at that timing. You're watching horror movies? Why were you watching horror movies? It's kind of odd, but interesting nonetheless. Perfect timing, eh? Right back into it. Cat Daddy from Argentina. <laughs> okay. The free Game Pass codes? You guys got free game pass codes? What are you talking about? We did have, for the Xbox conference last year, Xbox gave me a bunch of codes to give to you guys. Which we did, right? Like, uh, several of you got 12 months of Game Pass Ultimate, which was pretty sweet, so... Thanks to Xbox for that. Yeah, I guess that's coming up too, right? The Xbox conference will have to... What are we going to do, a stream? Or are we going to do a video on the rumors and stuff for the Xbox conference? I don't know, we might... I can't remember, do we do that as a stream or do we do that as a video? I'll have to look it up on the channel, I guess. A lot of this stuff's just like clockwork every year. We're finally going to have the return of Call of Duty campaign reveals being at the Xbox showcase. Ugh, I've been waiting forever for that. It's gonna feel like I'm a kid again. Whoa, 5,000 Argentinian pesos from Cat Daddy. <laughs> you, you know what's really funny, though, is uh, you're still a beat Cat Daddy because the biggest donation we ever had was 40,000 Colombian pesos. That was the single biggest donation I've ever had. Not in terms of like money value, but just as a number, it was yeah, it was forty thousand Colombian pesos. <laughs> I was like, holy crap! I think it was like five dollars or something Canadian, but I was just like, that is an insanely high number. But five thousand Argentinian pesos? Whoa! <laughs> Much love from Argentina. I love how it's this like deep red color that's like brutal intense. It kills me. That is one groovy. How to fix the R2 button on your controller? Uh, if it's brand new, you should return it, I would imagine would be a better choice. Yeah. Did anybody redeem the Withering Rooms? Uh, yeah, anyways. Oh, there's a dinosaur with an astronaut on the back of it? That's pretty cool. I totally got distracted there. What were we talking about? Oh, the controller. Yeah, I, I don't know. You could try to, like, wiggle it loose and stuff if it's, like, stuck. But, like, honestly, I would probably, if it's new, return it and get a, a new new one or something. So that you don't have to deal with the damaged controller. You can't? They patched the membership gifting? Argentina Argentina's not allowed to gift membership? Okay, that's hilarious. Someone needs to look online and see if there's an official YouTube ruling about how they're uh, how they're patching that out, because that's or that they patch that out. That's kind of funny. They patch the Argentinian method of, of gifting. Non-Argentinian money in this economy, dude. I fix up the Xbox. I like to think that the Xbox fixed me up. I told you, Filet, we should have pushed for those extra 50 Argentinian members so that we could have unlocked one more emote. Because there's no way in hell we're ever reaching that membership count again. We're, we're never, never going to be able to reach that. <laughs> Unless the channel, like, quadruples in size and people that like watching streams and stuff, it's like, yeah, that membership level's never getting to that again. That was it. 
Oh, it's already claimed. Someone got it. Okay. Well, I usually like to see who gets the withering stuff, but I hope whoever got withering rooms enjoys it. It's actually a really good horror game. I quite liked it. And there's a video of it up on the channel, too. I miss my Splinter Cell chick. Her ultimate was so good. Going for overtime on the kill streaks? Yeah, okay. Ooh, the ultimate here is a flamethrower. That's fun. Triple kill. Triple burn. How many more memberships are needed to unlock a new emote? Oh, probably like hundreds, I would think. Yeah, I, I think it's like hundreds we need. Yeah, Filet's uh, Argentinian membership gifting, which is now apparently patched, had us like, I think at like two or three hundred members or something. Like we, yeah, we need like hundreds now. Yeah, we ain't ever reaching that level again. I think also a number of long-term members aren't members at the moment either. So, yeah, I think where our numbers are pretty deflated. It happens. These hard economic times. How is this? It's it's just okay. It's, it's about the same as it was last time. It's it's so-so. Like, it's a competent, well-polished shooter that is okay. Like, I don't... Like, if I had the choice on any given night, I would probably pick Call of Duty over this one. I know it's popular because people are curious about it, so it's a very easy stream game to do. Like, it's not bad, it's just not, you know, it's, I don't know. It just doesn't light my world on fire. Hmm, is it really that much? Yep. You claim the code? Oh, okay, cool, I hope you enjoy that. Like I said, if we had 125 watching, which I don't think we will, but if we do, I'll drop something else. Lots of good codes out there. Damn it. Well, I think we're gonna win, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but... I still like to win, you know? I still like to get lots of kills and stuff. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the donation there, little Valor. That's nice. Your first live... I think it, it's actually really nice that there's a first live stream that I... Think, I think that's a really cool touch that you can see when someone's first you know, donation thing, or first uh, channel member gifting thing pops up. I always think that's kind of a nice little addition they did. Anyways, well appreciated, guys. Thank you. But seriously, enjoy Weathering Rooms. It's it's a really good little game. And it's strangely, like, savagely intense, because like I said, you're like a little girl and you get like a butcher or knife and everything. Have I been to Alaska? N nah. I, I don't know what I would do in Alaska. Uh, my pal Mitchell there, he's... He did an Alaskan cruise once. I heard it was really lovely, but uh, yeah, I've, I've never been to Alaska. I don't, I don't know what I would do there, to be honest. Like I live in a cold climate, so if I was like vacationing or something, I would go to a, a warm climate, personally. That's very kind of you to gift a membership there, Dean. Nice. Yeah. Five dollars seventy-three cents. That's a lot. That's actually just a little, quite a bit. The pop-ups and font make it look like a mobile game. I'm actually, kind of surprised that this one doesn't play on mobile. Like it kind of seems like it's designed for it. I mean, most games nowadays, you can scale the mobile pretty effectively, right? Like this, actually, I could see working well. Ooh, another gifted membership. That's very nice, Yadine. Enjoy your free gifted memberships, guys. Hmm. 2815. I've been pretty decent at this game. See, the funny part is, if you watch the beginning of the stream, I look like I'm complete rubbish because I get, like, smacked five times in a row, but throughout the stream, I've actually done pretty good. Ooh, it's almost been one year since I got this message. 
one year. See, I'm surprised that YouTube hasn't added like five year memberships and stuff yet. It's still been maxed out at four, which I think it's been maxed out at four for a couple years now. Yeah. Okay. And now we wait. Emporium? I'd rather do Emporium than Arena again. I keep forgetting that I have to back out and like vote on maps so we don't get the same thing over and over again. Hmm. Yeah. 600 to go. I don't think it's 600, but it's like hundreds. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get that again anytime soon. Hmm. Some guinea pigs running around. Alrighty, let's go. Did they say when the Splinter Cell people are coming back? <laughs> Do you guys have that new Ask Meta crap on your uh, Instagram? I really hate it. <laughs> it's like there's this recently, like the last two weeks, there's all these UI changes across everything, and I hate them. Yeah, but if you live in Alaska, doesn't the government, like, give you money to live there? I thought it was, like, a pretty sweet gig. But, yeah, it's not like there's major cities or anything, right? So, it wouldn't be a whole lot to do. If you'd, like, go into Saskatchewan, the living would be easy, but it'd be so goddamn boring. Yes, I, I do like that city life. Damn, smoked. Can't believe people call this a COD killer. Well, again, it's kind of like, it's people that do streams and video content that come in and they're like, you know, this is a COD killer, you know, it, it's to it's to grab attention, right, to the videos and everything like that, and then, you know, people kind of go around being like, oh, it's a COD killer because such and such said so, and then that just becomes like a terminology, right? That's what I should call the stream afterwards, COD killer. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, no, it's not a COD killer. Ah, eh, damn it. Remember when Avowed was the Skyrim killer? And then Xbox bought Bethesda. But at the same time, I don't think about is the Skyrim killer. It's a different kind of game. Yeah. Hmm. Notice your treacherous act. Who's treacherous act? Yeah, you become a member with the weird membership thingy. It's like a buck or two to join or whatever. Yeah. You know, then you get the status and everything like that, the emotes. It's just, you know, you feel cooler and better than others when you're a member. It's, that's what I've heard. <laughs> it's like that one company that says it's better to be a member. But obviously I'm not ripping their thing, otherwise they would roast me alive. Yeah. Hmm. More of a goldfish killer? How how would this game kill a goldfish? <laughs> it's a goldfish. Hmm. A <laughs> goldfish killer. What a, what a weird what a weird phrase. Feels a bit floaty. Yeah, the, it is. Uh, it is floaty, definitely. Yeah. It's not like weighted or anything. It's okay. It's just not. Uh, you know. It's not just it's just not mind blowingly amazing or anything like that. I do like the higher frame rate though. Like I think it looks pretty fine with the higher frame rate. I was a big update for the COD uh, for Marvel Warfare 3 2 there. Literally to tie in basically with my capture card it felt like they upped the resolution for the 120 hertz mode, and I was like, hell yeah. But then again, there's nothing like overly complex about this game that would make it hard to run, if that makes sense, where you wouldn't be getting high frames, right? Hmm. Patched for you. 
Well, you shouldn't have abused the YouTube membership system. I wonder if they literally looked at that and they're like, oh, this guy sus as hell. Because I bet they do look into that kind of stuff. I mean, they shouldn't really care because they're just making money YouTube, right? But I'm sure they don't want to, you know, have their systems manipulated or whatnot. Actually, speaking of that, I never got the free gifting memberships. Remember, I was supposed to, yeah, they, they, I don't think they've ever added that, because I have a, I guess I have a weird type of a Google account because of the stupid, uh, what was that, the Google Plus integration back in the day? So yeah, I never did get access to that, because I'm supposed to have, is it 10 free memberships a month? I never got that. Avowed? I think Avowed will be really cool. Yeah, like, I, I actually have very, very high hopes for Avowed, because it's Obsidian doing it. And Obsidian seems to do really well, almost in, like, spite of Xbox's incompetence. <laughs> so I, I have very, very high hopes for, for Avowed. I, I love The Outer Worlds. I love Grounded. I love Pentiment. I, I, I think Avowed's going to be really good. I got the flamethrower, but there's no one to burn. Seriously, where are these guys at? I've been disrupted, but I want to use my fire. Damn, dead sec. Did we ever capture that? I can't believe they hacked me, guys. They hacked the planet into me. Yes, hacked the planet into me. Damn. Yeah, it's like a device thing that where memberships don't get allowed because like uh, Apple takes like a percentage and all that stuff, which is annoying. Yeah, they still haven't patched that, have they? So you can only do the memberships on like Android or desktop or. Uh, yeah, they, they never did never did patch that for Apple, did they? Because I don't even think you can use a browser on the the, uh, the iPhone to be able to do that. Because of Apple in there, they're greedy 30%, right? No romances in Avowed? Yeah, that is a bit of a bummer. I love my romances and my role-playing games. Because if I'm not finding romance in real life, I need to get it out of my gaming experiences. And the romances on streams are hilarious. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Oh, damn it. Subscribe is great. Donations cool. Like, a number of you have already done. Very kind. There's becoming a channel member, the channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, and the Amazon store affiliate link. I just do that? No, I didn't just do that. And of course, it's incredible whenever you get thousands of Argentinian bases. So you're telling me what we really need to do is have someone that has an account, but not in Argentina, but another place where it's really cheap currency. Was there any write-ups about those on like Reddit or something? Usually they have like big breakdowns on like manipulating systems like that. Not that I would ever encourage any sort of manipulation to YouTube and its systems, obviously. A <laughs> very wordy letter to Apple. Don't worry, Apple's walls will fall. They are in Europe. Am I joinable? In this? What the hell's going on with the guy running there? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Do you see that? He's just... <laughs> he was just running. <laughs> Why? Um, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't think the joining works, because Filet mentioned that uh, he wasn't able to join or something like that. Yeah. Five dollars? No, 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 that's 5,000 Argentinian pesos. I am rich in Argentina. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you can invite people in this thing or not, or... I have to invite you? Oh, that's a pain in the ass. I couldn't even invite people last time we tried. Yeah, that's weird. So I guess we're not doing that because they haven't set it up to promote it. Because, yeah, I don't even think I can invite someone. 
I can only invite to my party. I don't have like an in like an invite system. I think we have to be Ubisoft friends or something. So yeah, it's it's a too much hassle. Halo Infinite throwback. We're still talking about Halo Infinite? Ugh. We just forget that game happened. Can we move on from Halo Infinite? Most other people have. Ba -da, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. Bug snacks do 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 do. What's tomorrow? What am I doing tomorrow? Oh yeah, the gym, and then nothing. <laughs> the gym, and then nothing. That's great. We'll do some written reviews tomorrow. I have to be in the main menu? You can't just invite people into your lobbies? God, this game's got a terrible cooperative system. There's a new map for Halo Infinite? Wow, I did not need to know that. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, Sony wants to possibly cooperate with an investor group to buy uh, Paramount, but they're not, like, Sony isn't directly going to buy Paramount. I don't think it would work either. That, to me, that would be a nightmare situation. I just, yeah. See, it kind of sucks, because I, I love Paramount as a company, but I do realize that they need to sell, and I'm just kind of like, I'm so worried what's going to happen to that company. I'd rather they merge with, like, Warner or something like that. So that's the problem with the movie industry, is, uh, it's too costly. Streaming killed all of them. And, uh, they're struggling. So, like, Warner Brothers, uh, Discovery, they're, they're shedding a lot of debt but their value is near nothing, and eventually they're going to have to get bought or something. They're, from what I understand, a lot of these uh, movie companies are waiting for a potential change in the... Because it's isn't it like an election year in the U.S. or something? So they're hoping that a more favorable government comes in in terms of mergers and acquisitions, so that like Warner Brothers Discovery could sell itself to possibly Comcast, and so that Paramount could get bought by... Uh, someone else or something like that. Well, Paramount, they were looking at Warner Brothers kind of merging those companies, which would be interesting. But I also think, uh, from what I understand, it's like Comcast is looking at picking up Warner Brothers Discovery to kind of merge it with uh, Universal Studio, or Universal and everything like that, which would be quite a powerhouse. But I'm, I'm a little worried for the film industry. We're going to end up with only three big ones. There's There's only like five big ones right now. There's Disney, Warner Brothers... Uh, Universal, Paramount won't be around anymore, and uh, then Sony, I guess, but Sony's kind of small, and then there's like second tier ones that are like Lionsgate and A24, but the movie industry is like really consolidated. That's what gaming's going to look like in the next 10 to 20 years, depending on favorable parties for acquisitions and blah 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 blah. That's where gaming is headed, is where a few companies like Microsoft and stuff own like all the different publishers and whatnot. Uh, da -da -da -da. But yeah, it's, it's just a little... Again, like, I, I love Paramount. They're, they're such an iconic studio. They've been around for over a hundred years. They've got such cinema history, and they've been merged and unmerged and bought and sold, and it's gonna be sad when that kind of vanishes, if that makes sense. A little, little sad, yeah. Steam coming to Xbox. Uh, I don't know if there's anything true about that. I mean, I made a video talking about Steam on Xbox, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not, not official. Hmm. Will Netflix die? Netflix, uh, they had a huge user growth, uh, but they went up 9% or something like that. They had a huge user growth for subscribers the other month. Although starting in 2025, uh, Netflix is gonna stop reporting on subscribers, which means they've peaked for subscriber growth. And they're gonna start using like revenue as like a metric and stuff for shareholders and whatnot to show their value. This is gonna kind of suck not knowing how many subs Netflix has, but 
Yeah, because the more data out there, the better, I always think, but that should be interesting. I, I don't see Netflix going anywhere. If anything, I think a lot of companies missed out on an opportunity to buy Netflix uh, when their stock had uh, tipped a bit downwards, uh, like, a, was it a year or two ago? Would have been the perfect time to buy them, because, yeah, I don't think Netflix is... They've solidified themselves as, like, the streaming service. They won the streaming wars, yeah. They did, which is fascinating. On Good for them. You know, they, they earned it, I guess. Yeah. Miramax doing a new scary movie. Yeah, I was, I was... I heard about that. And it's like... I think it's like a pretty dumb idea. Like, I don't... It doesn't really work anymore. So, like, parodies uh, are not really done these days like they used to be done. Because the comedy kind of got like a little too dumb and stuff, and there were so many crappy ones during the 2000s, like superhero movie and disaster movie and stuff like that. And they killed the parody market, which was really successful in like the the 90s and stuff like you know, like the Naked Gun. Well, I don't know if Naked Gun would be. It was pretty satirical, but a better example is like Airplane and you know, good movies that were funny making fun of things like actual parody movies they got ruined because of the influx of like crappy 2000s era parodies and stuff and uh, yeah I, I, I don't like also horror and stuff is so self-referential nowadays I just don't see how a scary movie would work like what would you make what would you parody what would you make fun of so yeah I think a new scary movie is a dumb idea like, obviously there's IP value there, but I just, yeah, I don't think it works anymore. I don't think it works. Almost topspin. Uh, well, I mean, I hope I get topspin. I, I don't know if I'm getting it or not. I did request it very early, so hopefully we'll be streaming topspin this week. I'm kind of excited about it, because, you know, like, we haven't... I don't think we've streamed a tennis game, right? And, like, I don't think we've had a high-quality tennis game since, like, Rockstar Table Tennis. So, kind of excited. It might be a lot of fun to play and stream. I don't know if people are going to want to watch it or not, but I think it will actually be a, an enjoyable time for me. Honestly, I, like, I actually think I could have a lot of fun streaming and playing that game, so I hope I see it pop up here. And like I said, April's been such a dead month, too. It'll be nice to have something new to play. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Ghost Recon? I think Ghost Recon's still like a couple years away, isn't it? Hmm. We're getting to the end of this job, and it's wrapping up real nice. Your cleaning spree is just getting started. We're Some Halo Infinite too. <gasps> In this economy. The Naked Gun remake. I. I'm, I'm kind of curious about it. It's got, uh... The hell's it? Liam Neeson is... Like, Liam Neeson's actually, like, a really good deadpan actor, and this could, like, be, like, Leslie Nielsen's career re reinvigoration when he was older, where he moved into, like, that kind of comedy stuff, so... I'm... The Naked Gun doesn't need to be remade, but I am kind of curious about it. Yeah, and they got Pamela Anderson and stuff in it. I wonder who's gonna replace O.J. Simpson, though, because that'll be pretty funny. Like, if you guys have never seen The Naked Gun, uh, like, his assistant is, is O.J. Simpson in all three of the movies. Like, his buddy that has just terrible things happen to him, like, comedic horrible things happen to him, is, is Norbit is his name in the, the movies, but... Yeah, O.J. Simpson is... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the secondary kind of, like buddy of, of Frank Drebens, who's played by Leslie Nielsen in the movies. <laughs> so f so funny. Like, the one he's, like, injured, and he's in the hospital, and he's like, heroin, heroin, and he's like, oh, that's a tall order, but he's talking about, like, a ship, and fuck, it's just hilarious, those movies. <laughs> he has such bad stuff happen specifically to OJ in those movies, and it's it's so funny. X Defiant doesn't have a release date yet. The Pixie Semi? Like, I'm pretty sure that those, like, rides are the same amusement rides that we get where I live. Like, I think they just travel. I don't know if they travel, like, 
across continents, which would kind of be a pain, but yeah, those look like similar rides and stuff, but yeah, it looks like a nice, colorful, fun family kind of event and stuff, so I hope you enjoyed that, Thomas. It was nice to see the photos. But I remember the last time you sent them, like, it was supposed to be in, like, a boardwalk, and it was really narrow, right? Your photos kind of made it look not so narrow this time. You can't make... You could make a good remake out of anything, potentially. Will they? I don't know. I possibly doubt it. But, like, you could. It, maybe it'll be really good. I don't know if you've seen uh, Liam Neeson do deadpan, but he did deadpan on this one show, and it's very, very funny. Uh... It, it could be hilarious. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Like I said, the, the Naked Gun movies are some of my favorite films. I just find them hilarious. But, like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Better a cool property like that than some other kind of thing. Like, what's it? I'm actually excited about the... I don't know if excited is the right word, but... I'm kind of curious about... What's the other movie they're rebooting? The it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, The Running Man. Paramount's rebooting The Running Man or remaking it, but it's gonna be it's that one guy that's really popular right now, uh, Glenn Powell or whatever, and it's him in The Running Man, which is a different look and I think more authentic to like the source material. But it's Edgar Wright is directing it, and I think he can make like a super sleek The Running Man kind of show, and I am. Um, kind of intrigued to see what they do with it. So, that, that'll be interesting. Does it need a remake? Not at all. Schwarzenegger just is really good in that one, and lots of that's just a fun movie. But, uh, it'll be intriguing to see nonetheless. Goddamn crowd shotting, this is ridiculous. Well, when you donate a huge amount, like 5,000 pesos, it's gonna stay up on this. It's probably gonna be up there the rest of the stream, honestly. Yeah. Zone B. It's still in the same spot. Okay, so you just kind of got like a different thing because like last time I remember you sending the photos of the boardwalk It looked like it was so narrow. I was like How are they even fitting people on that kind of thing and yeah congested stuff always looks really weird and like claustrophobic to me But this year's photos I was like, oh wow, that seems so much more spacious It's all about perspective and angles Yeah <laughs> Killian hears your sub zero now plane zero. Yeah, yeah, the the catchphrases and stuff are so fucking funny. What what did he say when he got the goalie or whatever? Or was that the goalie one? No, it was a different one. Plane zero. This is like the just the dystopianness of that movie is so like kind of eighties vibe. Like it's just I don't know. I'm curious to see what a, a new take on the Running Man will be. And again, with Edgar Wright, he makes such sleek films. I'm kind of curious. I, I always feel we were kind of robbed of not getting his his Ant Man movie. God, I like joined a match. We're just kind of getting slapped around here. I joined a progress. Fucking crowd shotting in this game is ridiculous. That wasn't, you know, the crowd shotting wasn't prevalent uh, the first time the beta thing was around. I'm assuming that's uh, changed because of the movement adjustment in this game, as people now crowd shot for benefits. Like, to me, the, the crowd shotting thing is like drop shotting. I, I hate when people do that in like Halo, the, the crowd shots. They get rent-free due to the racket. Okay, that's kind of funny. The Toxic Avenger? Oh, yeah, that one's being remade. Did they already film that one or something? Uh. OJ was the best part of this movie. He seemed like a nice guy that could do no harm. Well, that was the thing, right? Is like OJ was like America's sweetheart. He was a huge, well-loved individual, and you just like... You know, that's why the whole case and everything like that was just so mind-blowing to everyone, right? But in the movies, it's it's so funny because it's like, because you don't think of OJ at least in the modern era as like a movie like person, but uh, he was in like actually pretty serious about acting and stuff. And it's neat to read about the guy. It, it honestly is like it's such a a chaotically fascinating story. Yeah, he's, he's just like he literally he seems like 
to a lot of people, just this harmless dude and stuff, and then does the crazy thing, and yeah, that's what we'll be known for forever, I guess, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's fascinating. Like, sometimes I just don't get it. It's like, you have everything, and it's like, not enough. <laughs> Like, seriously, if he hadn't done all the stuff he did, like, he probably would have been, like, one of the most well-loved people in America, even today. It is, it is fascinating, yeah. Cat daddy. I don't think Cat Daddy can beat 40,000 America her uh, Colombian pesos. But you can beat Cat Daddy to liking the stream. Subscribe and great donations cool consider becoming a channel member. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter and aggressively okay to below average to sometimes all right times. There's also an Amazon store affiliate link for anything you're buying on there. Use the link in the video description. Hundred and twenty hertz streaming is life changing. <laughs> like you have no idea actually how much of a difference it makes being well I guess if you have hundred and twenty hertz TV, but like you know, from being like locked streaming wise to 60 FPS to be able to like play at 120 is just like awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Well, that's why we're kind of talking about OJ is obviously you know the recent death, and then also like again he's from the Naked Gun movies. My gamer tag. There you go. It's right in the chat. See, this one we got Skybot for all this stuff. Hmm. Splitgate. Now, that is a game I haven't heard about in forever. They're remaking that in Unreal Engine 5, right? Although it's been years and years. I, I think Splitgate missed all of its uh, hype. I, I think that actually might be one of the biggest sort of. Uh, like combustions of like a game ever like in terms of being something super super hot that everyone is really really into to just being gone <laughs> like can you even play Splitgate anymore like is that still even playable or is it like totally just taken off because i know they're remaking it no new content or something but like I, i've never seen a game that hot just like implode so fast that one and uh, Multiverses was like that too, where it just kind of vanished. Matrix 5. Yeah, I, I kind of figured with how bad the last Matrix did at the box office that we wouldn't ever have to be tortured with another one again, but uh, apparently there's somebody that came with a great pitch for Warner, and Warner was like, oh, okay. Because I guess they plan not to make any more Matrix movies, and this guy had a cool idea, and they're going with it, so I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> ruin the world. It's, uh, it is, it is fascinating, honestly. The whole OJ thing, and I mean, obviously that was settled and set up before my time, but it is interesting to read about the, uh, the intricacies of that whole, whole situation. Emporium, new map, please. Seriously, I'm like tired of playing like the same levels over and over again. There's a decent selection in this game, so we don't have to play the same ones all the time. Splitgate 2. I thought they were rebooting Splitgate, like just remaking it. Splitgate should have sold Epic. They should have. That would have been pretty smart. Yeah, it was a Halo killer, but <sighs> yeah, it's it's weird how that uh... how that turned out. If that makes sense, like just it was. Splitgate was massive, everyone was playing it, streaming it, and then it just, like, gone. <laughs> yeah. Let it die? That's just not the way we do things in society. Nothing dies. IP is so valuable these days. 
I wonder if we'll get to a point where IP kind of loses its luster again, and they kind of try to do more original stuff. I don't know. We're in an era of where IP is your only guaranteed win. Multiverses will be dead on arrival. Uh, yeah, I don't see it taking off again. I think they killed their momentum. We'll have to wait and see, because I don't think I've seen a game like that where it kind of goes away and comes back and is hot again, but I'd love to be surprised. Yeah, I really would. And again, if you're new to the stream, guys, we do stream each day around this time. There's always something exciting going on. Tomorrow we're doing COD. It's all about the battle pass. And yesterday we did Star Trek, if you missed that. Sponsored stream! Yeah! For a free game, it's not bad. Are you talking about like Splitgate or something else? Hmm. I do th find it humorous that Bateman is, is so into the multiverse. It's like, it was okay. Like, it was, it was fine and stuff. Even I dare say fun to throw it in on some streams, but. It is weird that they just like shut it down. Like they even they sold like battle passes and stuff and just shuttered it. And they're like, we're bringing it back later. It's, uh, it's weird. Like there's definitely money out there for like the Smash Bros. clone. It's just none of them have really been able to do it. I've always been disappointed that Xbox has never tried to do any sort of stuff. Like Sony has, you know, they did their uh, superstars and. But like I'm always surprised that Xbox, as far as like Game Pass. Cannon fodder never tried to do like Xbox karting or Xbox Smash Bros and stuff like that. That reminds me, I have that video sitting there that I need to edit on a rainy day where I do the Xbox Fighters thing. So we talked about this like years ago, is I compiled a list of all the characters that Xbox owns. And we were going to do like a drafting round robin thing with a couple people to do a video on it about like making a roster of Xbox fighter characters and I got tired of trying to organize that and just said fuck it and kind of filmed it myself and I've got that video clip sitting there and I'll have to edit that at some point yeah I totally forgot about that that's a rainy day video edit and make isn't it Hmm. Yeah, that, that one's just sitting there waiting. I filmed it when I was kind of sick too, but then I like checked it out afterwards. Cause like, oh, I don't know if I need to refilm it because the audio. And I was like, no, it sounds fine. So yeah, I just gotta edit it. I forgot that was sitting there. Out. Jurassic World. Uh, they're not rebooting Jurassic World. They're uh, they're just doing a new one. It's, it's a rush movie because they're desperate to get money. It's like to make money and. Yeah, they're doing a, a quick, quick news. It's not like a sequel, but it's like in the universe of Jurassic World. So it's like an adjacent franchise, I guess you would call it. But it's it's not a reboot. It's just a standalone spinoff, kind of, I guess you would say. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, I guess, is going to star in it. Apparently they tried to get Jennifer Lawrence, but I guess she passed and... Yes, I guess Scarlett Johansson is, is down for it. It's the guy who did the creator is going to be directing it, I think it is, and... I don't know, maybe it'll be... It, it can't be worse than the last two Jurassic Worlds. But here's the thing. You know, those movies, they both made like a billion dollars, so it's like, of course Universal is going to try to do more movies. I can't believe they're rushing it, because they haven't even started filming yet. And it comes out, like, in a year from now. Which is mind-blowing. But, uh... Yeah, I guess they're gonna get it done. Kinda makes me think of, like, uh, the next Bad Boys, which I guess they just kind of finished filming, and it comes out in, like, a couple months with, like, barely any advertisement. I wonder if that movie is gonna bomb, or if it's gonna be successful. Because, you know, Bad Boys... 3 was like the biggest movie of the COVID year because, you know, it was the last movie basically before COVID and stuff. It was kind of funny. Rumbleverse. Yeah, that one never really took off, did it? Do 
Doom 64. When are you not revisiting Doom, honestly? <laughs> the Founders... Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The Founders editions and everything was kind of gone. and Yeah. Well, Fallout London, I mean, it's a mod, right? And as soon as they release the... The, the thing that I don't get is why Bethesda doesn't work with the Fallout London people to make sure it, like, works with the game. Like, it's a huge DLC in terms... Or not DLC, but it's, like, it's a huge mod. Like, it's... Like, if I was running Bethesda and stuff, I'd probably send, like, a person over just to kind of give them details to make it all compliant. Because that mod's probably gonna sell copies of the game. <sighs> so, like, if I was running things, I'd kind of, uh... You know, they're just like a small group of people just to like help out the modders to make it like run with the new update and everything like that. Because like it's big enough that we're talking about like doing streams and stuff of it, it's a pretty big deal. But when you, you know, do a next gen update of that game, it's going to totally break the mod, so you know, it doesn't make sense for Fallout London to release and then be broken two days later, right? So it makes sense to delay it. And I'm sure they don't want to ruin all their hard work that they've done over years to make that. Can't see anything. Bryce Dallas Howard? Ugh. She's... I don't know. Those Jurassic World movies... Ugh. <laughs> I, I remember liking the first one, but it really was just a retread of, like, the original. I wonder if we're going to get to that point where, like, retroactively, a lot of people will look at this era of movies and just be like, all they did was reboot everything and just copy and paste. But that one was serviceable, and then the two that followed it, like, the last one was a Dominion. That is like one of the most forgettable, terrible films I've ever watched. It is complete garbage. It's like, what a waste. Like, you bring back the whole original cast. And it's just terrible, that movie. Like, just genuinely dumb. Ugh. The script extender team? Oh, the script extender team. Oh, I get what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like a mod that's like a big importance to your community. It should be something that, like, Bethesda themselves goes, we should probably make this compliant so that it doesn't break everybody's mods and stuff like that, right? At least that's how I look at it. Personal best winning streak? I'm on a five game win streak. I'm the greatest X Defiant player there ever was. The Crow remake? I think I'm pretty indifferent towards the Crow, to be honest. I, I don't care about the existence of that one. I don't think I'll bother watching it either. It's. I mean, I, yeah, I'm totally indifferent on it existing. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Yeah, Cat Daddy's donation is never gonna vanish. It'll show up for like seven streams. That would be funny if they had like a carryover thing for donations. Or it went from like one stream to another stream to another stream. Kind of be hilarious. And now we wait for the next battle. Hmm. So, what are you guys up to tonight? I noticed Vey kind of trail. Oh no, Vey's still there. Never mind, because I thought he started drinking and he trailed off. But I'm I'm mistaken. <laughs> Minus bourbon drink. Hmm. Ooh, Liberty, that's a new map. I'm trying to vote for different levels because we keep playing on the same few maps over and over again, and it's driving me crazy. I don't know people's obsession with playing the same levels over and over and over. There's so much out there to enjoy, and yet people get stuck on these boxes of doing the same thing. It's terrible. 
Upa's gone. Well, he's old, you know. Just kidding. <laughs> Liberty. Oh, is this from that one game? Rainbow Six Extraction. The first new Rainbow Six game in a decade. Extraction, and it just went pfft, and vanished. Hmm. Oh yeah, they gotta go to DC tomorrow. I totally forgot about that. Did he ever say why they're going to DC? I was just kind of curious. I was like, what are they? What are they doing in DC tomorrow? It sounds like a big adventure. Because I think you only go to DC if you have business to do, right? Unless you live there. This guy ever gonna shut up? He did like three verses in a row there. What the hell? Zone B. Well, I got smoked. Went out into the middle to die. Isn't there also like the crashed plane level? T There's so many maps that we've just been playing on the same levels over and over again. It's ridiculous. There's also like the cool like fairgrounds or like festival map for the escort. We never got that tonight. Yeah, we've just been getting the same levels over and over again. That's weird. Then we didn't do the, uh, the Splinter Cell headquarters and stuff. What a bummer. Hmm. You just bought Fallout 4 on PC. Good for you, man. You're gonna have fun with all the extra modding capabilities. Or are you bummed out because you bought Fallout 4 on PC so you could play the Fallout London? Because that's kind of funny if that's the case. They love cities. That's why they're going to DC, is because they love cities. Yeah, okay. Ah, <sighs> that's kind of funny. Our team is getting massacred out of here. Looks like that other team is better than we are. Hmm. This guy doing bunny hops? It's not Halo, man. It's not Halo, to my knowledge. It's not Halo yet. Person keeps getting me. But yeah, actually, you know what? I still didn't even hear back from my Fallout contact about what I had emailed. I wonder if I should poke them. Still trying to get PlayStation clearance for doing interviews on the uh, PlayStation stuff. Yeah, I wanted to do something around Stellar Blade, or I'm trying to set that up, so we'll see how that goes. Hmm. You know, teammates, we capture this faster if any of you would come in and help me. Literally anyone. I almost captured that myself, actually. Damn it. If you didn't buy it now, you'd be paying 50 bucks later. Yeah, that's one way to look at it, right? Because it's all on sale right now. Another way to look at it is it's a great time to like the stream, subscribing's great donation school. Consider becoming channel member. Channel member gifted the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. It's also an Amazon store for you, like, if you're into that kind of thing. Damn it. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna like smoke this match. I feel like I'm cannon fodder. Hopefully we can go and capture that. No, never mind. Hello there. Seeing red because of Cat Daddy. That's what Cat Daddy does. He delivers. Buying Venetica for two dollars. Venetica. We'll do a stream someday and people will love the uh, the busty Venetica woman. I'm so disappointed that video wasn't more popular on the channel because I think it's kind of hilarious. But yeah, we'll we'll do a Venetica stream at some point. I'm still trying to find. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands on that Warhammer. Uh, Space Marine 1 game? They should have really remastered the first one ahead of the second one coming out. But yeah, I'm trying to get my hands on that version for 360 so we can do like a stream of it before the sequel comes out, but... Man, I'm having a hard time getting my hands on that. I was almost gonna visit my buddy in another, like, uh, nearby town. Because there was a copy of it available, but uh, there was a snowstorm and my buddy was sick. So I was just like, okay, fuck it, I'm not going. But, uh... Yeah, I'm having a real hard time finding that game. Cause I thought that would be fun for a stream of it. Hmm. Fanatica. God, that video is funny. Fanatica. It's like no, there's no like artwork or anything for that game. It's just so awkward. Like that whole game is just like this weird time capsule of like that era. Of, of gaming. Like, you'd never be able to make a busty woman like that anymore in a video game. They just wouldn't let you. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my Crew 2 PS5 video, but if you watch it and you skip, like, halfway through, we, I, I get to see the lady at, like, the car show, and I'm like, oh my god, she's, like, curvy and everything. I was like, this is so weird. It's like, they don't allow you to do that in video games anymore. I kind of stopped watching. Visit my. Hi, I do have friends, and I, I do have friends that live in different places, so occasionally I go and visit them. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to try to tie things together. I don't know if other people just go to visit people for, like, fun, but, like, I try to, like, add reasoning. Because it's kind of like, oh, there's this game out there I want to pick up. I'll do that. And then there's, like, a, you know, like, a bar I want to check out there. I'll do that. You know, you, you try to tie things all together. Oh, I have a friend out in this uh, city or whatever. It's like, oh. I'll see him, I'll, I'll knock off all three things at once. Why not? It's just smart. You know, it's, it's just like good planning is what it is. Otherwise you're just wasting your time. Hmm. Fanatica. We should find a... Well, I guess I could. I was like, I should find like a picture of Venetica and pop it up on the stream so no people know what the hell I'm talking about. Let, let me see if I can I can find this quickly for you guys. Venetica. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Oh, these are way better pictures of Venetica than the last time I was looking. Okay, here we go. I think this is the one I use for my thumbnail. But yeah, it's, it's just in the crew too. It's it's just so funny because I'm like, holy freaking hell, she's like she's curvy and has like she's like femininely shaped, like a like a regular woman, uh, not like we get these days. And then like she looks like actually like natural as a woman. And she's like moving around, and I was just like, holy crap! I'm like, they don't do this anymore. Okay, let let me see if I can get like a. Uh... Let me see where my photo thing is. Image? What is this image of? Oh, this is the Monopoly. Can I... Duplicate this. Can I duplicate this? I'll just... I'm gonna add this. One, one, one sec here, guys. I, I wanna show off Venetica for those watching that have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Venetica. Bam, there she is. That's Venetica. Fanatica. Let's get a zoom in there. So her backstory, if, if you're wondering about this. So, Belle from Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, I guess that's actually kind of a little bit of a style. So she is 
a regular woman who's saying goodbye, I think, to the love of her life because he's gonna go and, like, be, like, a hero soldier. And what happens is, like, I, I guess she's actually, like, death? I think it is it death or the devil is, like, her father? Because she, like, dies, but she can't die. And then she goes on this quest to... <laughs> <laughs> to basically get like revenge and stuff, but I'm like, what the hell? But it's done like Risen, like I think it's the same devs that make Risen, and it's like this sort of janky role-playing game, and it's kind of funny, yeah, honestly. I'm gonna delete that image. At least that thing in my file thing. Okay, there we go. Topspin? Topspin, I, I don't, Topspin definitely wouldn't be a backwards compatible. I, I don't think that one is, no. You've never seen a woman? Oh my god. But it's just kind of funny because, like, no one else talks about Venetica I except for, like, Vey. Vey is the only one that keeps bringing it up, which is funny. And, uh, it it's actually, like, it's kind of a fun game. Like, I was enjoying it, and I'm like, Venetica! I was just laughing my ass off playing it. I was like, this is hilarious. So, there you go. That's... That's Venetica, in case you were wondering. She looks like an elf. She's, uh, she's not an elf. She's just a regular, busty lady that's on a quest for vengeance. Who happens to have a father that I, I think is either the devil or death or something, and it makes it so she can't die. She just keeps getting resurrected, and... That's kind of like the whole story there. It's, it's, it's really interesting. So am I ever getting my uh, Splinter Cell character again, or is that just not going to be a thing? Hmm. And again, if you are new to the stream, we do stream each day, usually around this time. Character model for No Rest for the Wicked? Built like art characters. I have that game. I have, uh, I have no rest for the wicked. We were, what was the plan? I wanted to stream it, but I don't know if we'll stream it now. I might just do a video on it. But yeah, I was kind of hoping to get like early access on that one to make a video, but they kind of gave it to me like when it launched. And I'm kind of like, I've been pretty busy this week, so I haven't had time to fit it into my schedule, but I do have no rest for the wicked. And I wanted to do like a, a video of it on PC. And I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe they'll send it to me early and stuff. And I just got it at launch, and I was like, ah. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a moment to uh, make a video out of that in the near future, hopefully. But uh, it's not, uh, not necessarily a rushing thing for that one. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, damn it. But anyways, a Venetica stream would be very funny, I think. I don't know if people would be like, oh, let's check this out, or they'd just be like, this is too weird, but it's a uh, highly entertaining kind of thing. Oh yeah, I, I know it's an early access and stuff, I, I totally get that. But like, just the way it was like structured from like a press emailing kind of perspective, I was kind of like... Sort of hoping I'd have early access to early access to the early access to set up video content, basically. That's what I mean. Ow. Or at least that's what I was kind of hoping to have, right? Yeah. Because obviously there's if you can tie in content for launch, that's when most people are looking at things, right? Whereas putting together content after launch, it never does as well. That's why I'm always kind of like semi complaining <laughs> to like my Xbox contacts for like the PlayStation stuff. Like they're porting their games over to PlayStation, and it's like, well, you know, you're not giving me access ahead of launch to prepare reviews and stuff. So it's like you miss out on all these views and everything, and it's kind of annoying. Like Grounded, I got like two days after it came out. I think Hi Fi Rush, I got like a couple days after it came out or something. And what was the other one they did? Um. Pentiment, yeah, Pentiment I didn't get for like three days or something, and then Sea of Thieves I guess I'm getting early early, but 
That one's structured kind of weirdly because they're doing the beta on PlayStation or something. Actually, you know what? I think I was supposed to have it this weekend, now that I think of it. Maybe it's next week. Yeah, I think I was supposed to get it this weekend. Hmm. It's like Diablo. It's a Souls like Diablo. Yeah, I heard about that. That's that's why I was kind of interested. I was like, this could be a cool game, and it's from the Ori devs and everything, so. Yeah. Kind of what I wanted to do is, yeah, because I thought it would be a pretty popular video to do, and I'm trying to do more PC stuff. And yeah. Always trying to have more content, you know what I mean? Different types of content. Take all the zones, then keep them. That's the hmm. order. X to find had a death match. Uh, I don't know. Well, there's like, what is that? There's a kill confirmed kind of mode, but I'm not into that. Like for me, deathmatch, uh, I don't like, cause deathmatch to me is just kind of like boring, nonsense killing. And I, I know it's always the most popular thing for games, but it is kind of nice that this game does semi cater to its tactical roots and just has objective matches. But I'm sure when it fully releases, they'll probably do a deathmatch. It's a pretty basic mode, so probably doesn't even need testing, if that makes sense. Like, they probably don't really need to test it. And, like, these modes need testing to make sure they work and flow and stuff. Yeah, because in Deathmatch, you're just killing each other. Or they might not do it at all. It's, it's hard to say, right? But, yeah. Hope that makes sense. Platinum game like Bayonetta? What's a platinum game like Bayonetta? No rest for the wicked, that one? Hmm. Anyways, I'll dive into it and I'll do a video on it. I don't know if we'll stream it. We'll, we'll see when I play it if I want to do a stream of it or not. We'll get to it, but yeah, see if these... I think I was supposed to, like, get access to that. Hmm. That's grounded. Ugh, I hate how hard it is to like outlook is so like buggy for stuff. Oh, we won. That's good. You're talking about near automata. Are you talking about near? Am I missing comments or questions here? Hmm. Ooh, I had twelve kills. What is what is that? What is, how does that make me special? <sighs> Cause like you search for something on Outlook and it takes forever for it to show up. When it does, you just don't like like literally, like when I search something on Outlook, I don't know if you guys have this problem. It shows me things that happened this last week, or it shows me emails from like years ago, and it's just like what. Because I'm trying to find my email talking about Sea of Thieves. It actually is faster instead of using my phone to just fucking pop it up on my PC. To piss off. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. When am I supposed to have access to this? Oh no, next week. Next week. Okay. No formal coverage embargo, so you can publish whenever you want. Cool. So, quick and easy review of Sea of Thieves coming up next week. Maybe I can drag Kevin in and we can do a Sea of Thieves fun stream or something. Yeah, make, Al make G Alice games. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the Alice. Uh, I actually really like that one. It's, it's really quite cool. Please not melt down again. We played that map so many times. Too many times. A rare Kevin appearance. It probably won't work out, because it's like impossible to get a chatter thing going on with him, but uh, you never know. I'm wondering if there's anyone else I can rope into a Sea of Thieves stream, but yeah, probably not. We've tried for years to do that game. Like, I'll, I'll probably stream it because it's on PlayStation and we'll just like do random people, but I, I've tried for years to get like a cooperative group of people I know stream. Like, we were really close. 
that one year when they did the did the Jack Sparrow DLC, but that was like three years ago, because we had we would have done Mitchell, Joel, Kevin, and myself. We would have a four four players for uh, Sea of Thieves, and it just it never there's always somebody doing something, and then people break up with people, and uh, it's just uh, it never worked out sadly. American Big G, yeah. Cool games. If you guys never done that, uh, it's on the Game Pass and stuff. The the Alice game. I have a video of it on the channel too. It's really cool. It's like a s twisted, dark version of uh, Alice in Wonderland. It's like a platformer. Very, very good. Yeah, I think it was like three years ago. It was a Jack Sparrow DLC at least. Yeah. How do you s slow this game down? It's it's a fast-paced game. You don't really slow it down. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Does this game have a freaking detection thing where you could be like, there's an enemy over here? You know what I mean? I don't think it has that kind of an alert system, does it? Ow. I'm on fire and not in a good way. I love how we finally get a different map, but it's this stupid game mode where you slowly have to take sectors. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, I'm just kind of like, I'm disappointed because I always wanted to do a Sea of Thieves stream and I thought it would be really funny with the cast of characters I had set up for it, and it just never happened. They had like board game night streams, someday! I think also the big question would be like, how do I, uh, how do I stream a board games night? <laughs> like, do I do my phone and then use that as a streaming thing, or do I like try to use this webcam here? Because I don't know if the webcam would like perfectly capture. Because it only does 1080 Like, I might have to buy like a fancy. I guess we could test it out with some budget stuff, and then if the board game streams are really successful, I could buy like a proper like DLSR cam or DSLR. You know, like a fancy actual camcorder like thing. That would be fun. Skull and Bones. We did, we streamed Skull and Bones. God, that game was terrible. I actually forgot that came out this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a game this year. That one, a good old Suicide Squad. Man, Suicide Squad was so boring. So boring. So, so boring. But no, we have like a whole bit and everything set up for the Sea of Thieves. We're gonna do like all pirate accents and that. It's very close. Yeah. I think there's actually a couple of occasions where it almost came together. The other thing too is I don't know if people would even want to watch board game streams. <laughs> that's that's another question is of the intrigue of that. Considering the amount of work it'll be to set them up, but we'll have to wait and see. That's why we do tests. To see how people react to things. Kinda like the, the tests we're doing right now on this game, right? No, I didn't want to. No, I didn't want that gun. I died anyways. At least I can cover it when it gets shut down. <laughs> I'm I'm sure eventually they'll add uh, uh, skull and bones to Game Pass and stuff. I don't know if that one's gonna last long term. Like I'm wondering if part of their contract with the Singapore government is skull and bones has to last so many years. Because remember, for like Avengers, they would have shut that one down. A lot sooner had it not had like mandates from Disney where it had to last X amount of years. 
And I think they, when they were bought too, uh, like uh, Embracer tried to save the game, but they're like, it's not financially worth it. Monopoly, yeah. Monopoly stream would be fun. I think if we did a board game stream, the first game we did would be Carcassonne, though, because I love that one so much. But Monopoly would be freaking hilarious. I have a special limited edition Star Wars Monopoly, and that would be entertaining. Oh, Xbox Monopoly. That's what we wanted to do, was have Monopoly and then print out the little things and do actual Xbox Monopoly. Totally forgot. Yeah, we'll do that, maybe. Is this sweaty? It can be. Oh yeah, there was that one guy that was like way too into Skull and Bones. That was really funny. I was like, remember we were thinking that guy was like maybe a developer for the game or something? Because he was just like, he was so mad that that game was terrible. <laughs> like so genuinely mad. Hmm. This game has the weirdest controller vibrations. Are we ever gonna get that new controller from Xbox? That's still happening this year? Cause man, am I getting tired of these, uh, <laughs> the vibrations on these controllers. Shouldn't we be defending now? Oh, we are defending, okay. I think, yeah, we're defending. Fortnite Monopoly. That's a thing, isn't it? You know what else is a thing? Getting you guys to like the stream. Be sure to like that there stream. Subscribe and great. Donations cool. Be the channel member you want to be. Gift the channel member you want to gift. The, the Amazon Surfly link and all that other stuff. The Fast Pass. They have Fast Pass movie theaters. God, that's depressing. I guess you would kind of have to in New York, right? Because it's so busy. Too many people. Damn it. Cyber is Cyberpunk Monopoly a thing? That would be a lot of fun. But no, no, I totally forgot. Like, if we do Monopoly, we'd have to... I don't know if I have a generic Monopoly board, or I'd have to go find one or buy one and then print out the little Xbox studios and stuff and make Xbox Monopoly, because that would be funny. That would be very, very entertaining. Yeah. It's trash compared to the DualSense haptics. It really is. Yeah. Because it's, it's the rumble haptics. Like, it's technically haptic feedback. Technically, but it's not. Yeah, the DualSense is just, like, way, way beyond that. Hmm. It's like you're almost, like, using a completely different peripheral. It's, it's like you're using, like, a budget cut peripheral. Because that's the thing that gets me, too, is they're charging the same price as the DualSense, right? And the DualSense is, like, a generation ahead of the Xbox controller. It's it's wild, actually. And I thought the series controller was really nice at launch, too, but the more and more you spend with the DualSense, you're like, it's just nicer. Turn it off, it ruins some streams. <laughs> it was it's not that bad. I thought it was kind of funny when it goes vroom, vroom, vroom. You'd have won if you just put in the work. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely has some spite. I didn't I didn't realize it ruined the uh the Paragon stream. Ruined it. I refute thee. I refute thee. Hmm. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, that's a pull I forgot to do, is would you tip a developer? <laughs> Game tipping. I've gotten really lazy with the polls on the channel. Do I use Microsoft Rewards? I mean, you kind of have to. They're just, like, built into the Xbox. <laughs> I used to use the rewards to, like, pay off my Xbox Live Gold every year. I would always have just enough to get gold each year, but... Nowadays, I just kind of save up until I get, like, a $25, like, gift card and stuff, which doesn't happen very often. 
and then I like use it to buy a game or two. They they actually they had like a pretty neat deal where you could like buy two backwards compatible games, get one free, but I'm like, I own all these, and they don't show backwards compatible games that I don't own, and I was just like, eh. Oh, does it have a new name, Microsoft Rewards? I don't know, whatever. Whatever the new whatever thing is. I mean, it's just baked into all the Microsoft stuff, right? So. Makes sense to use it, I guess. And every once in a while, I get some free money or something, so... No complaints, but I mean, they have made it pretty less valuable and stuff. Is this available to everyone? It is. It is available to everyone. Oh, Mayday. This is the level I was talking about earlier that we hadn't pop had pop up yet, and I was like, oh, okay, let's do this one. Nice. Still no Splinter Cell team, eh? They're gone forever. My precious Splinter Cellians. We have been forsaken. Not to be confused with Forspoken. Think about it, guys. Less than a year left till they could port Forspoken to Xbox if they wanted to. That is a long exclusivity window, two years. I think that happened with Kenna too, right? Because Kenna looks like it's coming to Xbox finally. I wonder if I'll have a Game Pass deal or not. But yeah, it's uh, quite a gap in like two years. Like honestly, I think Forspoken did so badly they're not even gonna bother putting it on Xbox unless they get a Game Pass deal. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. The U.S. Yeah, that's that was the big thing I noticed too. That made the rewards feel really worthless in Canada. Was when I went to the U.S. for uh, E3 the one year, and I was doing some rewards on my uh, Surface laptop or my Surface, and I was like, "Freaking hell, man! I'm earning more points in the U.S. in like a few days than I was earning in like weeks in Canada." I was like, "Holy crap!" Yeah, big difference. Well, it's just a more valuable market to the to Microsoft, right? The U.S. Yeah. It's, uh, this, this is in the store, it's just like a free test thing, you just search X Defiant, and you download it, and you play it. It's as easy as that. And because this game has so much questions from people and stuff, I think I will have to do an updated review on it and cash in on those views. Yeah. The freaking, what was it, the test I did today where it's like, seeing if we could do like a sports game on Series S. Months later, when it drops on Game Pass, was a complete failure with NHL there. I was like, ugh. That was rough. <laughs> Can I play Max Payne 2? I have the capability to play Max Payne 2, but I'm not gonna play it, yeah. Uh, like, you want, like, a stream of Max Payne? We're... The next time we revisit Max Payne 2 will be when the remake comes out. We'll do a Max Payne retro stream ahead of it. And then we'll stream the new Max Payne remakes, and uh, that'll be the that'll be when we do Max Payne. Like I had plans to stream Max Payne, but then you know obviously it doesn't make sense to do it and not tie it into the remake. So we're just gonna wait on that one for uh, a long while, I guess. Technically, whenever the, I don't remember the remakes, are they coming out this year? I think it's next year now for the remakes, but that's when we'll stream Max Payne. Because it makes sense to tie stuff in, right? Why don't I use headphones? I don't like things on my head. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't like things dangling off of me. I, I don't like stuff. Like, I'd actually rather have my head, like, freeze and stuff in winter instead of wearing, like, a toque or a hat or something. Yeah, I just... I don't like... Things on me. Hello there. Yeah, Kenna was funny. We streamed Kenna, and the game broke an hour in. Like I think it was an hour into the game, and it broke, and we weren't able to play it. And then I restarted it. Basically, just got to that same point, and I don't know. I remember finding Kenna kind of difficult, Souls-like, but looking really nice and. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it is on Xbox, I guess, when it comes out. And that Zeo game, I... 
I'm covering that. I think I can say I have it. I don't know. Does Max Payne have good gameplay? Oh, it's uh, very entertaining. Did you not see my Max Payne reviews? I've, I've got all the Max Payne games covered on Series X and S, and uh, my Max Payne 2 Series X review, I guess, is really funny for people because I'm just going over and over. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Hmm. Hello there. You took Cat Daddy from the real Cat Daddy? How could you? Would the real Cat Daddy please stand up? Please stand up. My streams out? I don't know. I think it will just be a video. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm. My priority is Stellar Blade. So Zeo will get whatever scraps of extra time I have. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's uh, it's not a high priority for me, that one. I do expect some sort of coverage, but it's not a priority at all. Stellar Blade is the, uh, the big one. Is there like a bad guy down there? There is! And a bad guy, three bad guys that way. Where the hell is the rest of my team at? It's like I'm fighting and I'm friggin' surrounded by like three or four guys. Nine cats the smell? Ugh. Any cats the smell. Enemy crews got all the zones! Take them back! Hmm. I'm starting to think my team's not very good at this. It's like I'm dying out here trying to capture these objectives, and these guys are like just kind of racking up the kills. They're not really going after these positions. It's like, what are they doing out here? We're here to win, are we not? It's not like these stats are being contributed to your uh, final tally or anything, are they? Yeah, Joel and her can't stiff. We ain't winning at this rate. Allies going out to sea. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm just kind of like dying like cannon fodder out of here. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that at all. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if I did a Series S video on this or just Series X. Damn it. Were you guys just like spamming aliens in the Discord or something? Sometimes I just don't understand all the chatter that goes on on the stream. That's how here I go. Eh. I'm surprised that there are new people that jumped in to watch haven't commented on the large Argentinian currency. <laughs> Burrito Banjo Man? What is a fascinating and intriguing name. Assists? I need kills. I thought I was gonna have that person. I guess I was wrong. X Defiant Fest. Nah, we're we're on the COD tomorrow. I gotta get this battle pass a roaring. We have our best ever start for the battle pass, so hopefully we're actually able to finish it. I think we're already halfway through, and we basically just played like what the one weekend where it was like double XP like crazy. I guess I'll have to grab Cheech and Chong too for the lols. Close loss? Wasn't that close. 
I did my best out there. I gave it my all. I like to think that it was the other people that let me down. Is it locked to 60 FPS? Uh, I'm playing in the 120 hertz mode, so I would say not locked. You forgot this game existed? I think a lot of people did. one27 KD ratio. Maybe if you spent less time killing, more time capping objectives, we wouldn't have lost. Just saying. Just saying. Throwing that out there. Blazing Angels 2. Kind of surprised that Blazing Angels 1 is backwards compatible, but the second isn't. Kind of makes you wonder what's wrong with the game. Yeah, look at all those deaths I had. These other guys all had tons of kills and it's like, no objective play. It's like I was being punished for playing the game properly. Go claim them zones! Keep out the riffraff! Trespass is on zone A! Oh yeah! Oh, this map too! I totally forgot this was a map in this game. I was saying, like, the rotation was so bad at the start of, like, well, during most of the stream, we were just playing on the same levels over and over again. And look, there's all these other maps in this game. And quick scope is I just I fucking got sniped by that guy, and then I spawned right where I got sniped by that guy, so he could snipe me a second time. It's ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Uh, I think most of the Ubisoft shooters do 120 hertz, don't they? Because Rainbow Six Siege does. I'm trying to think of any other shooters they actually have on the market right now. I think that's actually one of the things Ubisoft does typically provide is graphical options and whatnot for their games. That was a terrible spawn again. kind of makes me wish that they would remaster Future Soldier. Especially since we just streamed that like a week... Was it a week ago or two weeks ago? Anyways, we streamed Future Soldier if you guys missed that. Lots of fun. But yeah, this kind of... Kind of makes me wish they would remaster that one. Because I think that multiplayer is a little bit more fun. I think that'll be a, a common thing we'll start to see a little bit more of in the coming years. Is studios trying out more live service stuff that like failed previously and re-releasing it, kind of like gigantic and stuff. I think we could see companies trying to rebrand older multiplayer stuff and seeing if they can make some quick cash out of it, instead of trying to fund new risky live service stuff. Yeah. There's Wildlands. Hmm. Yeah, they never did upgrade Wildlands, did they? No respawn invincibility window. This game's too fast-paced for invincibility on respawn. It's too on the edge of competition. But that was ridiculous, right? Like, I literally got sniped and then appeared right in the spot where the guy had sniped me. That's like a bad Call of Duty spot is what that is. And it's not like this is a small map or anything, right? It's not like we're playing on, like, Rust or Shipment or something. It's too big for that. Play Breakpoint instead. Yeah, okay. Watch, someday that game will pop up on the Game Pass and we'll have to do a stream of it. And I'll be like, no! I, actually, I think it's like one of the few Ubisoft games that Xbox hasn't put on Game Pass yet.
Good teamwork. That guy killed the guy shooting me, and I killed the guy that was shooting at our other guy. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm actually starting to think higher frame rates do tire me out a bit more, though. That doesn't sound like X Defiant. That's because it's from COD. Which this game is killing, right? Maybe I'm just tired too. I thought that was really funny. It's like we did the, the short stream yesterday for the sponsor Star Trek. And I was so tired after the stream. I was like, what the hell? It was also supposed to be an easy night for me, but I ended up filming a bunch of PlayStation stuff, and then I just went to bed. I was like, oh, I want to watch a movie or something. But, like, yeah, I'm pretty tired tonight, and then yesterday I was just like, didn't even do a full stream, and I was like, die, and I was like, what is this? I'm so tired recently. It's not like I'm lacking in sleep or anything. At least not in the last little bit here. Peculiar mystery, I suppose. Sam Fisher? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, they're, uh, Splinter Cell remake. That's still coming. What happened to the Beyond Good and Evil remake? Wasn't that supposed to come out early in the year? Or did that get just, like, delayed later on in the year? Because, yeah, it's supposed to be the 20th anniversary of that one. It was a remake, re-release, because it's in the, in the Xbox store. I don't know if they took it down, but, yeah, it was there in, like, December or something. And it's like, where did that go? Because I thought that was early this year. And, yeah, it's nowhere to be seen. Because that would... I don't, I don't know, would that make a fun stream doing Beyond Good and Evil? Like, I don't know. What happened to that guy? Mine? That was a mine, okay. Oh, I wonder if we could get, when the remake comes out, if we could get like a Splinter Cell interview. That would be fun. Because that was the other bummer about this month being so quiet, is I was like, there's no interviews to go after. It would be funny to do, like, uh, an interview for Topspin of, like, one of the actors, or not actors, but, like, one of the athletes that pops up on, like, the cover or something. That'd be a funny tie-in. Hmm. Oh, and then the, uh, the Calgary Expo is next weekend. So I'm hoping for some interviews that weekend. I don't think that will impact the streams, but I'll probably be pretty tired next weekend. Nope, I'm talking about Beyond Good and Evil 1. They're doing, like, a remake anniversary, or remaster anniversary. It was in the Xbox store. It was shown in, like, December or something like that. And then it vanished. Anyways, that's good for tonight, guys. I had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed. Back for COD tomorrow. Grind out the battle pass. You know how it is. Sunday. Who knows what's happening. Hit your round, guys. Poof, poof, poof.